to note too, like uh, when, like what Liger said, like when we were, it, it was kind of a little bit chaotic for us. We were just getting picked off, and when we were grouping up, we were getting the entries and getting the trades, and and then winning the post plants. So, I think if the if it feels like it's getting that way, um, that's one thing that we can kind of fall back to, just like playing like a mob. Yeah, I agree. That's why that's that's why I was like uh. Like, that's why I wanted Paula to start going all mix. Is like the rounds that we were packed towards A, like, we shouldn't, the aggression shouldn't be a problem, you know, because we are packed up. And it was like, it was still a problem. So I think it was, we were ending up with 4A, but it's like we weren't starting, like, moving in a pack with 4A at the start, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of times we saw them, we got up bracket, and we, knew, we like, knew instantly they were playing passive A. But we just didn't really know what to do, it felt like. I think we just gotta like sh smoke shocks. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... You know, we just hold them low, though, right? Yeah, if they're if they're passive, taking arch control is like the way to go. Just doing like shocks default, just skipping all the util brackets. Let me get some water real quick. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Hold on, one second, one second. When uh, like when we know they're playing passive, eh? Just talking to a stream, sorry. Like you can you can scope up and just post and and we can just talk to a stream. Right? And so what like uh we don't have to like alert use code by like flashing arch cubby or like, <laughs> like let them know that we're there. Like the one round that we contacted through uh we uh, I said let's phase the smoke and then Sam's like okay I'm gonna flash you through it. The moment that I like, Moto heard the flash he just called for a flash from this point. Alright, I'm back. You know, and then he just swings and us because one of us was ready for that. Um, so it's it's good if, if we know they're playing passive, we can just take the space. And if we want to wrap, we can just throw the space on the fly to wrap. So, what, what did I miss? Sorry, I want to get some water. So like when we, uh, like when we know they're playing passive A and we want to take arch control. We won. One round where uh, the moto smoke was like, it was gonna, or the arch smoke was gonna fade in like five seconds, and I just, I just said, hey, let's phase this smoke, and then you're like, all right, I'm gonna flash you through it, and uh, and then the moment that you flashed, like we came out, we cleared cubby, and then they just called for the flash from the pit. The moto player hurt, hears the flash, and he just calls for it from pit. So yeah, just because, let's go, let's just, go. Just be, like especially if they're playing passive, they like. What you're basically hoping for is that they, um, he just dry peeks this because he didn't hear anything and we're already in aggressive angles holding for him to peek into us. So if he hears that we flashed, then he's like, okay, well, they're probably here. Can you flash for me? Yeah. And so no, yeah. Just, like jiggling it and then being like, oh shit, we kill him. You know? Yeah, we lose the element of surprise. I agree. Right. You guys ready? So I think I'm last. Oh no yeah, no uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, you know, my buddy's gone. Let's show them who we are. Stuck with us. <laughs> I guess got a hundred twenty p. Oh man, bro, we just did what they did to us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's start T. Let's start T. I think we talked a lot of T stuff, so. Um, yo, Eli, you got your pistol? Was that the B split? Oh, uh, you, need shocks buy, one? you need to buy smoke flash for this. I smoke lane, right? Yeah. Smoke flash P2? This is this a shock piece? Okay. It's like the arch wraps. I mean, I think it's me and... Yo, I'm rope. You're just going with the pack uh, to rap B. Smoking lane, right? Am I running this, Eli? Smoking now? Okay. Flashing in right lane? Flashing lane? One boiler? Boiler, boiler. Boiler in close mid somewhere. Nice. One car peeking. Copy, 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 Really? Nice. Side, that's nice. yeah. That's a site. Oh. Could be one more. Don't see pit. Backside clear. Do we have three kills, eh? Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. planning for a big. Oh wait, shit. That's good. You got a flash on site. One out moto. He spotted me. I'll flash him in a second.
One porch, porch, porch. Oh, wagon, 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 wagon. Dead, dead. Last arch. Just be safe. Mighty goose one? No. Oops. I'm hiding just hide. Nice. nice. Good shit. They're on a force. Alright, we 4 1 A. So, yeah, Paula, every time we 4 1, you just be solo B. Excellent. I think I think it's gonna work a lot better. I'm gonna. Yeah, because I'm just better. <laughs> well, I mean, you're probably gonna get more picks and shit, because I don't really go for anything, so. Yeah, my muscles are gonna die, so you gotta look at the both sides of the coin there. That is true. Nading? Throwing Ants Eco. Come clear brackets with me, Green. Throwing Ants Eco. One step back, one One arch. Three? Okay. Three? Okay. Three? Okay. Go up side, go, go up lane, go up lane. Run it up lane. Could be many, could be many. Could be out. Yeah, could be us. Arch? Yeah, smoke it. Up, up, up. Through, through, through. Right back, right back. I have Molly. I'm Watching apps. Running up lane. Nice. Apps out, out. Shit. Moto, moto. Last lane. Oh, last one on. Lane. Molly. Is there a gun? I think lane. I gotta run, I'm gonna die. They fully echoed. Oh shit. <laughs> nice. Did you jump that horse and tase me? <laughs> I was throwing the moto smoke. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, they uh, full eco. They're gonna be low util this round. So we could play for phase three. Any they're gonna be right below by. Any AK upgraders? Watch out for any aggression. We could just throw one A again. Going all. Smoke mid, smoke mid. Cover Could be cat, flashing cat. Could be push middle Yeah. We do funny brackets. Come close. Yeah, I'll flash for you. Smoke and arch. Molly porch. Flash. Under porch dead. It's a pick A. Yeah, 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 they bought. We go back B, we go back B. How much util B spent? Uh, they, have, they just don't want Molly so far. Oh, they're saving util then. Um, We just go into a side exec here. We still have car. We throw a side exec? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can entry. Push long haul. Cancel, cancel. Yeah, we can just re exec B. Yeah, come contact car. It's peaked. Oh, nice. I saw you guys leaving. Back. You go back here, go back here. This guy was Hall's. Can we just exit? Can yeah. we just exit B? Just play for the okay. late round. Just play till, wait till like 22 and then we go. Can you guys molly? Yeah, they still have car, so... I'll do, I'll do coffee. Okay, I'll molly uh, and... Uh, could be car. Oh, can you smoke CT? I'm you guys should foreplay this. Yeah, oh, actually, you don't have time. Smoke CT, I got coffee. Yeah. Flashing. Smoking coffee. Through CG? Ran through. Nice. 15 seconds. One more CG. Plant, plant. Plant it in the open. I'm full. Ran through. Other one CT. CT, CT. Are you smoking CT? Flashing through. Nice, good shit. Bro, the fuck is you with the Oh my nose, god. Dude. You just ate it. <laughs> And he didn't even get blinded. That's sick. That was their buy. They're back to eco this round. 2900. They're on Deagle. We could do uh, anti aggression. I'll go Mexi. Yo, I think uh, it's a small thing, but I think you probably could have been better used to that Molly to Molly new box. Um, Nico. Because they wouldn't have any counter util to stop it. Can boiler? Yeah, Okay, boiler. Can we ignore apps? Ignore apps. Go to the star trap. Let's practice this. Here, just ignore apps. Ignore apps. I'm Molly Porch. We go to the star trap instantly. 
I'll Molly Porch. Can someone get a? Uh, I'll get Library. Can someone get Arches. I'll get Archer. Get Archer. You Molly Boiler, Eli? Molly Porch. Oh yes, I can. Oh, oh, someone get Library. Put on the Star Trap. Nice. Check coming. Check coming. Check coming. In window. Okay, we might cancel here. Yeah, you gotta go. Still apps. Nemo clear. He's out, he's out. Nice shot. They bought? 75 and 10? Okay, we got an eco. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did one of you guys hit me? Yeah, I should eat in front of me a little bit. Nice uh, we're at the force back. Let's do that. Uh, what's it called? The boiler pop script. Yeah. All right, let me go boiler. I only have a eagle. You, uh, I think you should probably do like uh the U till then. Yeah, it's by the zero. I'll mac up. Like I'll, I'll drop you smoke. Definitely. Here's flash. Oh, okay. You, you throw YouTube for us. Oh, okay. This is the one where we're missing the window molly. Like the fake window molly. Yeah, you drop me a uh, mech. I need flash. flash. Here, here. Yeah. yeah, I'm going Mexi here, right? To, uh, yeah. flash for you guys. R Rob's going Mexi to flash. Okay. I think you're going to be the... Third guy. Yeah, moto. Okay. Am I smoking anything? You can smoke, um... You can smoke half all at B. Yeah. Decoy's OP, man. Oh, fuck it, blood. I'm just gonna walk out here. Found me. Crewman, crewman from me, and then. Damn. I'm lucky. I am throwing a flashbang. Oh my god, I'm running up up. I hope he's not whole. One bottom mid. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah. Two A still. I don't know, I've never oh, seen people just run B. They just through. ran through it? Yeah, it's dry. There's Anti eco too. They're just with pistols, they just run through. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, we got an eco. Let me hit him with the, the brokey or whatever it's called. That's what's. Yeah. You're gonna do that? Okay. Yeah. I feel like in those situations where we get interrupted in a play, we kind of just like around and be ducks. I'm on the car. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. You shouldn't, you shouldn't molly car with that. Well, that's the whole point. Just peek the, take the fight. Oh, well, I'm talking the car, the mice one. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, car. This is better. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, the bad thing. They're modeling and it's kind of fucked. Yeah. yeah. Call it something different than like a car rush. Because I, I probably had a freebie if I went forward through the molly, but I didn't. So. Oh, okay. Uh, We could buy up here. We're going to be low you so if you guys want to pack up towards B. I think we can like, yeah, take I'm control of this. I'm going to throw like the arts mode. Okay, okay. You want to peek it fast, Eli? I'll flash. Do it fast. Rushing. They like me, though. Molly D. Can you half off flash somebody? I don't have half flash. We have no flash. We have no flash. Just contact out. I'm doing stay. Yeah. We should go. We should go. They know, they know we're not out. You got flash? Smoking. Nothing. We got nothing. I'm just going to call from Smoke CT. I get it. What's CT? On site. Second is. Nice try. Okay, I didn't want to uh, trip the day. Uh, well, we get about a 1500. Okay. Um, they... Let's do anti aggression. They're probably... Can we f actually face pop banana? I'll hold flashes. Wait till they take it. I'll flash you guys out.
Don't don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. You're supposed to let him take it. Uh, I'm good here. Flashing car. car. I'll flash you guys through, or are they? Yeah. Flashing. Flashing. Top, 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 top. Okay, we can buy. Yeah, they're just fucking pushing shit. We should just back up then. Just do any aggression towards B. It's probably gonna peak that. I hold flashes. I'm in the back. Let's four pack this shit. Flashing? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Sure. You take it? Alright, flash now. Flashing now. Hard, uh, nice. What was that you still like? That's the last oh, smoke, right? right? He dipped, he dipped. He was cornering. Right right. That's the last smoke. Get up close. The that's it, hold on. That's... They're out of Utah. We can just go for a re exec here. Yeah. I'm playing any. Could be seen. I'm with you mid in case they peeve. Can we smoke coffin and CT same time, Eli? You don't have coffin? Let me clear sand roof first. Okay. Scooch over, Rob. Don't CT. To your left. For coffin in a sec. There's smoke fade? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Throw it. We're re exacting. We're re exacting. Don't go in yet. Yeah, okay, got flash after. In the way. That's from CT. Molly from CT. Okay, okay. I'm Molly new box. You get emo. You guys ready? Someone re smoke CT on the way out. Uh, I got him now. I'll smoke. Yeah, read the smokes. Ready? The smokes. Smoke. Oh, Emo. Let's go. I'm blind. It's first, first. Oh my god. Damn. Um. Well, that guy's lucky. Yeah. What? What? Did we forget a coffin smoke? I don't think we had a second one. No, we did, but uh, Paula, me and Paula were got confused on who was smuggling it. Okay. I wonder if we should have someone playing anti as well when we go going for those execs. Whoever's in the back, just sit car, wait for that run through CT. I know a lot of teams do that. Like, when you know you're for sure executing and you're like slow executing, someone always just plays anti in the back. We should just make that a protocol. We can go for it again. Let's go for it for practice. Why are these guys talking shit? It's fucking scrim. Yeah, they're, they're not even players. Yeah. Are you usually like first to entry and then third guys just stop not to be in charge of the CT push up? Yeah. Just watch for that run through. Um, we could... Or half by? Or... We, half by to 1500. We can go for the same thing with pistols. Let's just do it for practice. Let's go, let's go. Amali, flashes. They smoke deep, could be pushing. It's two of their mollies, they have one smoke left. Good push. On. Can you flash? Can you flash? Flash or flash? Yeah, flash and flash. Nice. One more out corner. Out corner still. Nice. Nice, good shit. Ouchie. Yeah, there's actually a, uh, Molly. a Molly yeah. throw from half wall, yeah. I thought you were about to throw that. They got another buy for sure. Oh, uh, they played 3B? I don't know if they've been doing that. You wanna try like a fast arch trap? Arch rush? I got uh, arches and porch Molly. So I'll get library. Commit through, commit through whatever they throw. You Molly porch? I mean, but, um, Molly Porsche side. Watch out, watch out, move, move. 
Alright. Right. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll Flashing our side, you ready? Let's go. Dropping, damn it. Run it up. One arch, one arch. The, the double large smokes and like the port, uh, boiler molly and stuff, right? Boiler molly? Am I am I tripping? I might be just be tripping here. I think you're thinking of a uh, ignore apps where we go for the art trap and then we molly boiler molly porch. This the fast art trap. We molly porch smoke art uh, speedway smoke library and we just run it through brackets. Okay. Yeah. Why'd you molly yeah, I boiler? Yeah, I, I threw the, the boiler molly. Well. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why I was like I'm tripping. Yeah. All good. All good. Okay, yeah, we eco this round. What is this guy doing? This guy's so weird. Yeah, that was a weird <laughs> you bought tax? Okay. You wanna do a boiler pot? Crash it again? I could uh, smoke and flash and shit. Me and uh, Nico throw you two. You guys all go. You go with them, Rob. They're doing fast B, we should go for this pretty quickly. I think they're playing 3B. Flashing boiler right after you. Smoking moto, you ready? Flashing boiler. Flashing boiler again. Hold on, I'll pop out the back. Balk. Wait, you said what, Eli? That's, uh, I think it defeats the purpose of the fake molly if he flushed into boiler instead of like out of you know, like, I think so. yeah. Oh, into boiler? Yeah. I only did it because they flashed for us and I thought that he was in there. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. We can do it again for practice. Let's just run up through lane. Just run up to the site. I'm gonna keep on calling more pauses because they're being stupid. <laughs> I don't give a fuck no more. Uh, do the same thing. We'll do it for practice. Oh, did we find out for sure about tomorrow's game, by the way? Let's move to Thursday. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's. When we do the spoiler pop, are we supposed to have Nine two guys to Like uh, throwing the lane flashes? And Fire. Yeah, yeah, I'm throwing one of the lane flashes. They're doing fast B, I think. You guys in? Let me know when you're ready. Okay, okay. Ready to flash. Yep, fla you ready? Flashing boiler now? Flashing in? Smoke and moto? Nice. Holding flank. Up flank dead. Dinked two steps. I'm running all the way mid. through B to banana. Nice, good shit. The fake molly spread down a little bit there. You want off I feel like that one was a lot better. Was the pop good? Everything seemed decent? Yeah, that, so, that felt a lot better. So when we do that though, Sam, like what we talked about doing anyway, is there's two guys going T mid and three guys ult. Two guys jump into window, the, the third guy goes uh, into mid and he's just like coming through whatever mid smoke they've thrown and he's fighting but the two guys team mid are throwing both flashes that we showed you so like one flash for the guy under porch and arch and and then you chain the flashes that are going over lanes so yeah like, so i did i did, I did the flashes. yeah right right but i should have thrown the nickel flash there then um i just didn't know which flash you were throwing and okay I just, I just threw the one to the right wait we we're supposed to have one more person alt mid then no so two t stairs three alt when we do that and then two boiler, one top mid. Two boiler, and yeah, one comes mid. And the mid guy is basically the guy to initiate. So he's the guy that, sa that says, I'm ready to smoke moto. He smokes moto, and the moment he lets go of the smoke, that's when the flashes come over. You want to do it one more time for practice? 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So do you want me to go team mid or does someone from Alt want to go team mid? We should put names to it so we all, we know. I, I could always be one of the Moto guys, or the Mexi guys. I'm still going to go Alt and Golden Throne, that Molly. Yeah. Okay. So me and Nico could throw the util. Uh, Paula, you be the guy team mid. Go Moto Smoke. Yeah. Same thing, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Smoke path, oh, you did? Could be pushing down mid. They molly deep. One boiler. In front of boiler. They have down banana. Mid, down mid, down mid. One's hopping mid. Oh my god. Down mid and yeah, hopping boiler. Push out, push out. Push out. Nice try. Alright, we do it again. They're really taking advantage of us running this multiple times, so. huh? Yeah, they think they're getting some out of doing that. Do you want a molly in front of the half ball smoke, Sam? And I'll, I'll throw the half ball smoke again. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go! Throw in the smoke! This guy is weird, bro. What the fuck? Hopping B. I got. Okay, I got left side flashes. I'm gonna smoke. Yeah, ready? Uh, hold on, hold on. Alright, I can flash. I can smoke. Yeah, smoke. Flashing. Flashing our side again. Deep branch, I'm so My fault, my fault. Swing aside. I have flash for pit. Good timing me mid. Watch out. One library. Alright, could be porch. I'm flanking him. Okay. Flash porch. Porch, porch, porch. Flashing in front of pit. Oh, nice. Good shit. Like I'm gonna flash mid for us just to make sure that we're not dying like getting into Mexi. Yeah. So I'll always throw the left side flash, the nipple flash, and then you can always throw the, the lane flashes. Okay, yeah, we can do that. I threw arch that time. I didn't know if you were throwing I think you said nipple. Did you or did I tweak? Yeah, I said I was throwing the nipple flash. Okay. Yeah, I tweaked then I threw arch. You can throw, you can throw the arch flashes from in Maxi. Yeah. So like if you, you know the lineup for that? Yeah. Just so it'd probably be better if you just you do the lane flash as I do arch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Cause if I'm smoking half ball and you're throwing like a B Molly, then I like I have the timing to throw the mid flash for us to get out. I'm wondering too if uh Paula instead should throw something other than the moto smoke, because I could throw a moto from Mexi and he could have a different smoke. Like maybe wagon or front sight. Yeah, I mean, because I just feel like I'm. Smoke. I could smoke half ball and then give you my smoke, and you could throw a moto and uh, a cart. But well, because there's a there's a front sight smoke from the same spot he yeah, he's at. Hate to okay. be that guy, but we should just note this shit and talk about it after. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, that's true. We're giving a TED talk with whisper moments. Um, you want to do one of the pistols? We do, uh, retake A. Retake A is a 4B. Uh, 3B. 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 It's the bait and switch. Come on, come on. Flash 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 for car? No, flashes for a new box. You, you just oh, play like okay. off point. You can buy util, yeah, right. Scorpion. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, just go like over there and spot. Uh, apps or lane maybe. Yeah, they threw app smoke. Do you, you want to peek car? Yeah, if you want to yeah, peek yeah. banana. Flashing. Flashing. Flash I'm getting pushed with You got this. This is virgin. Pushing you, Eli? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have flash. Uh, porch. 
Uh, bait me arch, yeah. Almost porch. It's not mid right now. Okay. I can flash for you guys over sight. Do it. Flash over sight. Dead porch. Good shot. Kona. Yeah. Ready? It's like cold. Get fucked. Nice shot, Sam. Nice shot. Get fucked. Woohoo! Kovacs, Kovacs. Actually. Appreciate that, Nyla Kimes. Hey, what did I do? For core. Just... <laughs> thank you, thank you, Neckbug. Oh, no, I, I, I got a one tap two stairs by Lurk and Larry. Um, they could force here. Yeah. Force. We could do two man Navi. Oh, shit. Yeah, we do two man Navi still. I just want to deep for you. We can still do it. Yeah, let me know if you want uh, to take. I'll smoke deep. Probably not. Everyone just to go, but... Still looking deep. Molly deep. Are you flashing over? I'm out of still B. Could be coming up. I think they are coming up. At least one up, up car, up car. Not up yet. Couple here, couple here, like two, three. Smoke CT. Bad smoke, bad smoke. Close, dings. I'm giving A. I can help you, e fag. Nice. We got force back. Yeah, you want to? We could do like a three man Navi. I'll show you to like. Yeah, we do 3B. 4B? Oh, we can do 4B. Honestly, that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. I'll smoke deep while I close. A car. Let him in, let him in. I'm blind. I'll play for contact, Swerpin. Playing any. Can you try to get to pit? I'm crossing sandbags. We should play for this. Nice. I'm gonna hide minions. Smoking half wall. Watch out. Smoking. Oh shit. <laughs> It could be a parch, uh, guys. I'm giving you a smoke Sam. I'm leaving. Yeah. Could be a parch, good time. Yeah. Hey, nothing, banana. One lane. Okay. I'll one. Up lane, two. Police across. Two. Lolly. Like me. One apps. Apps stinks. Yeah. Default, default. Are they up? That was bomb. Up. Nice. Nice, good shit. Yeah, that's like an actual strat when you play 4B. It's like a second wave thing. One. Two people dump their util and then other people just re exec. Can I get upgrade or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, you got him. I'll drop you around. I can. Here you go. Okay. We good? Oh, thank you. Okay, we're good. It's two in Navi. Yeah, they're 1400. Take. Molly, dude. Right, flashing. Flashing close is awesome. Yeah. Cancel, cancel, cancel. You can cancel this. I'm not gonna peek there. You fall. You go to oh retake. God, nice. I just first bulleted him. <laughs> the coffin. Only one way. Yeah. One arch peeking me. Can you hold blue? Hold him. I don't think he knows about you. Just holding me. He just has Deagle, you can fight him if you want. I'll peek off you. Yeah, he's in peak. Yeah, he's just holding me. Oh, that's fucking... He flashed. Nice. Nice. Lane. Flashing lane. Laying down 
I'm pushing, I'm pushing mid. I'm flanking lane. Pretty sure these guys have to contact. They love you too. I'm gonna get up top first. You hold? Oh, I walk up. I'm not gonna oh, bomb. What the fuck? Come on. Maybe I have some. What the fuck? Yeah, can we pause after this? Yeah. I gotta get my dog a Xanax. He's thunderstorming. Give me <laughs> Is it the dog's prescription or yours? <laughs> it's the dog's. It's not a. It's not Xanax. It's like a. Tramadol or something. Like I have taken one. And they knocked me the fuck out too, so I, don't, I only give them half of one after I kill them. I think they force. Yeah, that was Deagle. Yeah, yeah, Deagle. Possibly. Yeah, before you go this round. Yeah, you're basically Drake then. Push, there's like always some dumb lurk sitting cars get destroyed. Push what? What do you mean? My grandma, uh, like a couple weeks ago, got put on Xanax four times a day for some reason. That's is that ridiculous? Holy oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, they a took her grandma? off because she like went crazy, and she's still kind of crazy. I like I saw her for my sister's birthday over the weekend, and it was insane. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, she's like she's like 82. Like why? <laughs> why would she get her? Well, yeah, like, crazy. <laughs> yeah. My grandma's got gout, and so she goes through like real bad pain and shit. Yeah. Gout basically feels like your blood vessels are crystallized, and then you fucking try to move your everything just like hills, dude. It just burns. So she's Ow. like a painkiller, but she takes like it's like half a Vicodin is her prescription. You know, like if she's feeling like that's crazy. Yeah. She's like the same age. Yeah, the lucky dude, the lucky is being fucking weird, dude. This guy's weird, bro. Like people, like, how are you? I, that is weird. Like, I don't know. Or something at least. Like I don't okay. know. I'm back. If it was a whole Xanax, she, she is she died. is she actually taking the the medication like what they recommended? I would, yeah, uh, I don't know if it was what they recommended, but that's what she took, and uh, she's off it now, and she's still a little bit insane. <laughs> we have HEs. I'll smoke mid early. Let's triple mid T stairs. Kobe. <laughs> just give it like a half second to just make sure they're not spamming us. That was their force. They're back to ego this round. I'm buying helmet. I got a first spawn. Let's go. After we triple mid, uh, you can just leave and go beast out. Alright, alright. Okay. Yeah. Smoke deep, Molly deep. Why not? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna eat you out. Oh, no shot. Molly in this one. Yeah. Close. Nice. I think we have banana. Do you have a smoke? No, I only have Molly. So. I'm jiggling our right now. The Molly up. I'm gonna Molly mid and come double <laughs> up with you. Uh -huh. You can pit then. Paul's got banana. I can flash you up lane maybe. Could be a porch. Up lane, up lane. Up lane one. He grabbed the, he grabbed the gun. I'm gonna walk down my area here. I think they're gonna be grooved. Could, could be CT, yeah, make a play. Don't see lane. T says. Yeah, I think they're arched, honestly. CT. Yeah. One out halls. Out halls running out. Drops. It's on me. Yeah, I'm dang. Side, 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 side. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't know. Nice. He, he was there. He could be pit, could be pit. Could be Nice, good shit. That was eco, they're back to a bye. He didn't even spam, he just shot one bullet. Yeah, let's do, one let's, bullet. let's do force for practice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could delay uh, both your guys' molly's molly a little bit yeah. after my uh, close molly. You want to yeah, I'm just gonna hold it. Actually, we can if you want. I'll, I'll just hold it. Nothing? Smoking deep. Molly close. All right, flashing. Nope. One more lagging. Oh shit. Okay. I'm flanking, I guess. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, banana. Yeah, people could just stream snipe a prac, but that's like fucking dumb as hell. If they want to do that, go ahead, waste your practice time. Nice try. Okay. They just run up on you, Polo? Yeah, he just does the twist peek like behind the volley. Oh. Uh, but he's terrible, so. You want to drop? We force back? Yeah, do you want me to drop off or do you want me to drop rifle? Yeah, I can drop off. Yeah, you drop off. There you go. Oh, you want, we can do VP or something. I'm going to HE and fall. Drop your shirt here. I actually remembered that. That's crazy. <laughs> Here, take my MP9. This is a high honor. Throwing a grenade. Tell me when. Oh, that hurt. Smoking? Molly? Oh, Where's your D? You dropped me a D. Let's play for a car. Right. I'm gonna hide. Let me, let me hide. car flash it. Tell me when that fades. I'm car I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. I'm on the boiler. Flash now. Deploying flashbang. Two. One log, one T steps. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Close. Let me boost you second. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was bombing. Boiler, no. Playing any? Yeah, I don't Two know. up car. Under you. I think all three are here. Yeah. Coming in B. Yeah, yeah, here they come. Here they come, here they come. Coming up. Nice. Nice. Two and one second right now. One grinding default. They're both like in? Yeah, both inside. Yeah, both in. One's towards coffin and one's planning. Lots of you two. I'm holding for him to push. He's nice, one's holding banana. Nice. Flashing in front of you, flashing in front of you. Smoke Molly on Eli. Close coffin. Coffin, coffin. Shake it. Nice, nice, good shit. Nice, good shit. Oh, banana after. Sorry about that, dude. I, I swear I heard two go pool. Nice. Oh, and an official? Yeah, there's a two minute delay. They stream side will practice that, and then why would they even scrim? Most teams don't do that. Uh, yeah, CT was smart. Yeah, they probably playing in the run back, banana. Well, I'm playing 1900. They're 2700 this round. I'm gonna be on eco, buying helmet. So you we could do uh two man Navi. Okay. I don't have flash actually. I'm just gonna HG and fall. That's fine, we probably won't take Tika. Yeah, just my ID. Alright, close, that's fine. We could take this, nothing. So I'm gonna do. Never mind, dude. Two steps one. I might just jump through this dude, these guys are Lame as hell. Oh, T Sarah's jump through. Oh, oh shit. You. Good luck. Ouchies. Get up the freeze kill of all time. <laughs> Yo, what's up, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was trolling a little bit there. <laughs> Honestly, I like that, dude. Ooh. Just like smoking T Sarah's and as soon as the pop, you just jump through and clear clothes. Yeah, that was a little bit decent. If we're like in need of a play oh. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything else to practice on B? One time a game, you almost always get a kill. Especially I think they're a flash tube or something. Yeah. They bought, right? Or no? Oh, uh, they were like techs. Yeah, the other pistols there by this round. Flash me. Take? Yeah. Molly D. Right, flashing. They're Molly car actually. Okay. okay. I'm aiding. I mean, we can play for car. But... We can give it. Let's go. Yeah. Boost no box? Or, yeah, no box. You can cross this. Don't miss it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I won't, man. Oh my god, loud ass. <laughs> Not <laughs> close yet. Do you want to trade? I want to stand up. Trade guns. I want to do. Okay. I'm hiding arch covers. Might be a throw, but. Throwing smoke. Jiggling boiler from Belt. 
Pause looks clear. Fucking D. Yeah, they're up. You saved or... No, that's the hard one. I have a flash. I'm coming to Nana, though. Yeah, we got flashes, small ACT. Oh, they deep CT smoked us. Yeah, deep CT. If they're in the stream, they deserve it. Save it. Pushing this move. What is one health dumping in? Push him. Yep. The only counter to that setup. Just a wide crouch peek. What did he like pre aim you? Box. I don't know. I don't think I don't know if he pre aimed me, but it was, it was a nice shot. Okay. Uh we could buy back here and just stack a site. Force to zero. Force? Yeah. Stack, stack, stack. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, can y'all get close? Hold my new window. He's running up, bro. Hey, one more, one more. Close work. Nice, right, slow app, slow. Popping, he's hopping. Low. Yeah. Came back. We have to start buying the UMP. Hey, <laughs> guys. You hear anything? One mini. Mini, mini with another. He's low. One deep. Mini and a uh, uh, sniper. Nice what the hell? Yeah, dude, this guy's just lagging like crazy. You saw that? Yeah. He's like fucking glitching all over my screen. I ran an eco this round. Stack brackets? Just went back side, like the Get up. We're going in. I got some YouTube if you want to peek mid. Don't hear anyone running up. Let me flash or no? Yeah, go for it. Flash? Come, someone come boiler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to get on your house? Yeah, yeah. Smoke deep. I think he might be window, I don't know. You want boost? Careful crossing, actually. Oh, yeah. Someone's on me. Think then boiler? Or, uh, these stairs? Oh, fuck. I wonder if that's an insta boost. I don't know. I thought about that too, but I don't want to risk it. He should be. I got flash T steps. Drop on a car. I'll flash your T-steps, you ready? Yeah, can make yeah. Flashing? Fuck this guy up. Is he stuck here? Yeah, I think he's been in a... Uh... Yeah, this exit. He got it. Watch the exit, watch the exit. You want tower here? Yeah. <laughs> this carpet get on the alloy's head. Oh. Is it gonna work? It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Gonna shoot. Yeah. What? Of course they don't come out, bro. You get these balls. Yeah. Ugh. Damn, we're gonna we're gonna mob here. We can force up again. Force up and uh. Shit, For a heavy mid, heavy mid. Push down. Solo B. Yeah. Pushing down with Rob. I'll Molly. Play Andy. Flash, flash, T stairs. Yeah, one bottom banana. No, What the That's fuck? Right. Did he kill you? He killed you blind, didn't he? Yeah. I, it's I unfortunate. Like play, I'll be honest. I never like doing that. Really? Yeah, they always just kill you two stairs. I think it works best if we know what kind of default they're doing. Yeah, yeah it's, he like, got lucky. Lucky really shot. Yeah, it's blind. It's just nice for me. Let's have a light. 
I'm gonna push long one. I got a shorty. No, this is something. Long mid. Play for your aggression. Take my five pick. Take all my mids. I'm you smoke half wall? Okay. One opping logs. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the Keurig and Molly. I can throw a retake you too in a second. Not bracket. I'll flash you back in. I'm not anywhere. Yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah throwing it. Just wait up, wait, wait. I'm Molly in a second. Thanks for running out of apps. Molly now. Flashing. Yeah, he just. I want to Is he stream sniping? I think so. I don't know, so. Bro. I, told, I thought I messed up. I told him we were streaming at the start and one went. He literally just pre fired me. Yep. Yeah. GG. thing there is I noticed there were a couple of rounds where I just like missed calls because two people were talking at once and we have to like ask oh. after. So we know. But that's I think that's something that will develop as we play together longer, but we're definitely a little crowded sometimes. So. But too much talking? Like, yeah, it'll be like two people calling something for opposite sides at the same time. You said what, Liger? I said that's a Discord problem. Discord is ass. Yeah, we should go to TeamSpeak. We have a TeamSpeak. It was yours, right? It was nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, you want to start yeah, using that? In the password or in the thing, you can pin it if you want, Sam. Posted it yesterday. You can just start using Hippo Dick it. TS3. That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pin it. Yeah, bro. Did you see that last shot that guy did? He literally just pre fired me fountain. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Dude, nothing beats <laughs> Oh, with the jumping out apps? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, you have to see it. You didn't see it. You just have to see it. Yeah. You're Wait, somebody clip. Heard it. Was it on stream? I don't know if Sam was. I there. I wasn't spectating. I just heard about it. Yeah, um. He just like jumps and shoots me in the air. <laughs> One tap as well. I, it was like the first bullet killed me, but he shot. It literally was. He he shot like two bullets, and the first one killed him. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Mid air, and his model uh, was dude. crouched too. You know, so it just. I saw crazy. it from uh, Rob's point of view, and he was like, "Moto, like outside library," and it looked fucking absurd. <laughs> dude, yeah. That was a little bit closer. Uh, any thoughts on the scrim before we uh, finish up? We fucking suck. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. Those guys are. Uh, I don't want to say it, but like we're all thinking it. Uh, I just think <laughs> we were just practicing. We were practicing show and T side. Just like yeah, we're in the yeah. same stride over. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but uh, I don't know. I don't. With, with the strats, it felt like. Uh, granted, they were like directly countering it because they were being pieces of shit, but. Like, we were kind of pants down whenever they would counter us. Like, we would just sit still and do nothing. Like, we'd never respond, so... Wait, what do you mean? Like, if, uh... Like, uh... Like, we're running up all... They, they like, flash uh, window rim right, and we just stop. Or, like, uh... I think they, like, ran down mid and killed, uh, like, the ramp guy or something, and then we just stopped, right? I think. At least we stopped for a couple of seconds. So we'll put a protocol in the, the the guy with the rifle that goes alt mid, because um, even if we run that, uh, that guy will always start anti. Like he doesn't have to do anything off the rip, and and he's the one who's going to dictate the pace because he's going to smoke moto. So he could just start anti for like the first few seconds, uh, just behind like the left side or the right side, whatever, whatever feels best, um, and then we can just pop right into it because you are you are a bit exposed. Uh, I get what you're saying because if they do flash alt and try to take alt mid that round, um, they're gonna they're gonna catch you with your pants down because you're throwing that molly that exposes you, right? You're you're throwing the fake molly to jump up into window. When we run that script. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah I think we got to find a better lineup too. I think it bled in a couple times. It it did yeah. Also, I will say I, I do like the I do like going towards A though. I think that made it. 
feel a lot better. I think I felt a lot more useful actually calling and stuff on our four ones. Were you about to say Liger? That is usually how I played also when I was IGLing. Just, I was always the guy who went and I left someone else be. But yeah. uh, what I was going to say is if you throw if you throw the molly into a uh, window from back, you know, like the jump throw lineup when you're running, yeah. if you throw that one, like, does it go be out before you bit. get there? You have to wait, uh, like, a second and a half, two seconds. Is that a major difference in the strat, or would you want to just wait that second instead of trying to line up the fake molly? Well, yeah, we should just wait, because, like, if, if it was just me running out, it would matter, but we're waiting for more people to jump up anyway. I think I think you gotta no, throw it late because uh, I think the whole point of you Caristalilla is that you like what? get up in boiler and like pop fast while the molly's still like burning, you know? Yeah. Like, right. I, that's the whole point. Right. Else you just like throw the regular one and you just like wait for it to go away and then you just walk in boiler. So you you gotta beat that timing, you know what I mean? Where you throw the regular one and walk in boiler. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. It should be like it should be like five five seconds delayed, just to allow the guys and maybe um. Maybe the person that's fucking ads. Is one of the guys that's jumping up. Yeah, so I think so. I think that's probably best because then you guys can both get there like quick, and then boom, you're uh, you know like five seconds later, you're ready to throw the moto smoke, and then we're flashing. Okay, why don't you explode. invite him then? <clears throat> and and uh, the Molly oh, is like you just, still. You just admitted you know? you're not cool. You guys, Lane, still hear the Molly. <clears throat> I have to watch it back again. Yeah. But I, I didn't see it in a demo. I only saw it in a POV. So I couldn't see everyone's POV. Uh, like as I was watching uh, the radar. I don't remember if it was one of the guys that jumped up that threw the molly or not. Yeah, we'll find out. I, I think it shouldn't be. I think it should be uh, whoever's alt mid. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Coming up mid. All right, well, good game, though, boys. Yeah, GG's boys. I'm gonna, go. gonna wake up an hour earlier, so. All right, I'm about to stream some shit. I'll see y'all later. Yep, GG's boys. Peace, peace. Peace. So, what? There was a chick cr crushing on you on her stream. Yeah, where's the clip at? Like, blow on it. Dude, I have no idea. Hey, Sam, sorry, Maybe... this blow will grow up in his hair and make things worse. Just blow on it. Like, really hard blow. Spit some W Riz, man. Like, really some Riz. She from the Shy Town? Blow. Uh oh. Hate that shit. Free one man XX time? Yeah. Why you, you don't laugh at that? Where's the clip at? How did you hear this? Yelling at them to get their heads in the game. Tally's head is always in the game. Taylor, we. Um. We, we played a short, ma short match and we won. Some riz. Spit some riz. Just her through the grapevine. How the fuck do you hear about something like this? She has 20 viewers. Just, just US Southwest still probably connecting. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Shut the fuck up, Paula. How do you rewind a stream? I wanted. Oh no, we don't have the wiggle anymore. The fuck? How do you rewind a stream? What do I do? How the fuck do I rewind this shit? Also, I'm gonna do like some tips and tricks and shit. Go to past broadcast. Just drop a follow. Yeah, I'll drop a follow in a second. How the fuck do I see? You're right, Paul. You're right, bro. Just need some confidence. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Dumbass. I'm doing good, Wanted. I'm a little bit sick today. <coughs> 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 <clears throat> Wait, what joke? I missed the joke. I missed the joke. You said not after tonight. <laughs> I think it would work.
work. Okay, this is like a dead mission. How the fuck do you rewind, bro? Thank you, wanted. How are you though? Wanted for fun. Bro, I'm not subbing, bro. I left the tea bag in too long. I think I was supposed to take the tea bag out. I should drop my I should drop my code in her chat. My refried code, shouldn't I? That's some Riz right there. Oh, is it gonna take us forever now? Drop the refried code. Yo, 15% off, 15% off. <laughs> oh yeah, you have your um your school starting soon, right? Yeah, you're capping, cream, you're capping, bro. Well, I guess that's until September. Type in her chat. What do I say? Hi. QMM with her. You need a rank. Right. I don't have a rank, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Are those like the week before school? The school? The orientation? Bro, is someone really just sub? Oh Who is this guy? You can't jump. Clip she's talking about. My boy, yeah. Samar. Yeah, what the fuck clip you talking about, dude? Bro, you really said my girl. <laughs> All right, man. Enough of this shit. If you got, if you, I need some evidence first, okay? And then I'll spit some words, bro. I'll spit some words. Feel like you're capping. What is this? Jesus, man, that is so fucking loud. Five gifted for what? What? Send her five gifted? Fuck no. Bro, what am I what am I going to go for? I don't even know where the fuck she lives. I like physical girls. Not virtual ones. Exactly, bro. Neck bugs on he knows what's up, man. You gotta stay on my focus, bro. My focus is gym girls. If she, if she don't squat two plates, can't do it, man. I can't talk to her. It's as simple as that. She ain't squatting two plates. Yeah, he is making this shit up, dude. <laughs> Not gonna lie, your next team paid her to distract you. Your next team. What does that mean? The fuck does next team mean? Got one that can carry you home if you're too drunk. Exactly, bro. She can't back squat two plates. Why do I want her? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Bro, are you being dead ass, Cream? The 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 us. Bro, I wish I could play music while I stream. Look we'll at copyright strike, and then also be so bad in the that it not completely done as I figured I needed it. What the fuck? What do you mean I needed it? What do you mean by that? It's a electric blue loop. <laughs> Bro, those guys are weird, bro. Those guys are weird. <laughs> I think there's a way to do it. I don't know how, though, Paula. Yeah, I don't like uncopyright music. I want to play and listen to Kanye. Oh, really? And then it won't mess up like the VODs, like I won't get a uh, copyright strike or whatever. Shit.
You ever listen to Smack That by Akon and then the legislative branch? No. Oh. The fuck? Super, super. For me, I'm using the Elgato Wave 3 program on the computer that splits your audio up. And there's also OBS plugins that can do it for you. And but in your OBS coordinator, it wouldn't be. It will be in the VOD. You can check out some of these videos and, you know, they'll teach you how to do that. I'm not going to teach you how to set up any of those because I don't know how. Now, once you do download one of these programs, or you install the plugin and whatever you do, there is just one setting you have to change on your OBS in order for this to work. Once you split up the audio on your computer, you're going to have to add all your individual audios to your audio mixer in OBS. This is super easy. All you have to do is just go into your settings come over to your audio output and then you just add the different audio devices from your computer my wavelength music is what my spotify is linked up to the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your output tab and you want to go ahead and check mark twitch vod track use track 2. i will explain what this means in just a second now all you gotta what? do is come down to your audio mixer click any of these cogs and go to advanced audio properties this hey what the fuck what is <laughs> the dudes who try to rob the smoke shop in Vegas? No. This is going to bring up all of the audio in your OBS. Now that setting that we turned on that used track 2, basically what it means is it takes all of these audio tracks that OBS has and will exclusively use the second audio track in the VOD. Basically what this means is that any audio that's unchecked under the number 2 here will not show up on the VOD. Now, oh shit. Any tracks are highlighted in 1 will pop up but your vod is only going to save the audio from two so as you can see here i have my twitch alerts turned off for track two and i also have my music turned off for track two i have my alerts turned off in track two that way if i'm making a youtube video out of my stream the alerts aren't interrupting what's going on yo so i can listen to music then what where's that track two she was talking about What? Oh, I'm about to save this. I'm saving this here. I'm gonna watch this later. Yo, that's actually mad convenient. My dog just opened the door. How do I just call it? Or call me a bitch, really? What the fuck? Okay, 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 okay. I'm doing tips and tricks. Because I actually have time today. That's what I'm going to start doing. Because Tuesdays and Thursdays, we start, stream, we start practice earlier. So I'll have time at the end of practice to stream and shit. I'm going to actually start doing streams. Because I haven't done that in so long. Okay, 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 okay. Yo, um... Fuck. Fuck. The question, does clips considered as VOD or stream? What? Big <laughs> Give me your best tip before I smoke and go to bed. The best tip? Best tip to give, use Kovacs. That's my best tip for you. That is the hands down the best tip. More specifically, use the Kovacs West Produ routine, dude. Good night. Good game. Thank you. It's a miho moment right there. Hi, miho. I saw your chat, Andrew. You're like, Miho moment, or whatever you said. Something about Miho. My Miho! Okay, 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 okay. So I had to do something in this with Spot. What the f move, bro? What is this doing? Why isn't it moving? Go away. Pull up. No, you finna get busy. 
Let me get my notebook. Thank God you told me to buy a decoy round piss. <laughs> Dude, that shit went off, man. That, that was nuts when you uh you fake flash church. I told you, man. I told you. Okay. I mean, you can still get cover strikes from clips. This clip stream stream because there is VOD. doesn't record number two spot. Oh, that's what you're saying. I don't... I think it'll probably just come from the VOD. Yeah, they are still on Discord. They talking some... Yeah, they, they talking about some strats or something, man. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go to. I'm just gonna start from the new notebook because the old notebook, it, old notebook is outdated as shit, man. I don't feel like talking about nothing in there. Yeah, this is in our video, dude. I don't even know how to pronounce that shit. I don't watch soccer. Everyone always says I know it's about Cristiano Ronaldo, but is it like Sue or? I don't watch soccer. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Sue? Soup? Suey? Like, suey? Like, is that what you say? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. What does he say? Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. Su. 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 There you go, man. You happy? Okay, okay. Um That would be a good follow sound. Yo, actually. What is my follow sound right now? What is my follow sound? Someone follow real quick if you're not following. I'm gonna make this my follow sound. Record this. Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. It's just so quiet. <laughs> Thanks, man. HLTV top twenty. Hell yeah. That's what it is. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> the fuck is a Sue? Give me a loud one, man. How long is my hair? Yeah, thanks for the follow. Reach on the... Ah, fuck. Hate taking that shit up. That's where we at right now. Ugh. Yeah, it's curly too, bro. So if I straighten it, it would be like down uh be like down here. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm just growing it out just to grow it out. I honestly don't even like it this long. <laughs> Just like, fuck it at this point. A little bit longer. Average? What the fuck you mean average? Bro, yeah, yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't have to do it with my shit either. All I do is wear 
hats. I just wear hats everywhere I go. I just wear backwards hats and let it just hang down. I hate wearing my hair up in a bun and I hate wearing it down. Should go bald. I was thinking about like just donating the hair because it's already so fucking long at this point. Not to do. I don't know what I'm gonna like. What kind of haircuts to get? Maybe like a mid part or something. Where's a good loud one, loud one, bro? It's not where he's like up close. It's so quiet. Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. The fuck. Este para vosotros. Fuck was that? Inshallah. <laughs> I'll do this one. Cause that's like quiet. Cause I'm gonna get falls all the time. I don't want to hear me. I don't want to hear that my ear just so over and over so fucking loud. I'll do this one. Inshallah. <laughs> I'll do this one. Okay. I gotta set this shit up now. How the fuck do I set this up? Um, um, where is it at? It's alert box. Follows. Hmm. Oh fuck, what the hell? Inshallah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'll keep the laugh, I'll keep the laugh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god why is it getting louder um mp4 converter explore convert to what do I want? MP3. Make Paul, make Rob do it. <laughs> Shoo! Yeah, I do it. I do it on stage. <laughs> That'd be hype as fuck. Shoo! Stream shit. Save. Okay. Now that's saved. Drag, drop, upload. Hmm. Uh, Edit, wait, stream shit, recording. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I can test it. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit too long. Should I cut it short? Or it's just... Here, it'll just be this. What the yeah. fuck is, is wrong with this? Shoot! <laughs> Shoot! I'll cut it like that. Oh my god, it's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, he did it as well? Shoo! Where the fuck did this file go? I gotta... Oh, I gotta edit this. Damn it, bro. Oh, now I gotta. Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna make it like this. All right, good night. Fuck your dick. <laughs> Fuck your dick, Paulo. I'm gonna cut it so there's not as much pause in the middle. All right, here. This is the finished product. That's gonna be the f okay. That's what we're gonna do. I think that's a lot better. Shoo! It's not any shot. <laughs> yeah, bro. Last your artist for. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I go to stream. Streamlabs, come here. I go to alert box, follows, media, change of media. I gotta upload. Mm, mm, this one. <laughs> Wait, that's not it. This one. <laughs> it's the same one. What the fuck? There we go. There we go. Now. There we go. Honestly, we're all such an instrument. You have a lot of EU fans when I make it. Think so? Show us the one exec so we're all going to behave like Paula. You going to leave me, man? You going to leave me like that? All right, let's do some one man execs. Let's, let's go over some shit, man. Whoever the fuck got me distracted with the Cristiano Ronaldo shit. Alright. I didn't even mean to hit dust too. Hell yeah. I can go through my notes though. Soon. I didn't even mean to go to this map, bro. Come on, Inferno. Make this period worthy? Nah, bro, I ain't pugging like I'm doing tips and checks and I'm out of here. It's 8 a.m. What the fuck? What are you doing up so early, bro? Well, up late. You haven't even slept. Okay, I was thinking about going through the notebook, but... Honestly, I don't know what it is. I don't. I, whenever I look at this, I just don't even feel motivated to like go through my notes because I'm like far behind. I'm just gonna go where I'm currently at, around where I'm currently at, and I'll start talking from there. Cause I don't know. I'm talking about old shit that I've known about for a while, like just is not motivating for me. Let me get something so I can mark where I'm at. Use this piece of paper. Okay. What you want? So you want one man XX? I can show you some like util combo spots, uh, like a really good spot to combo util on A for like uh, any type of side take, or for like an A exec. If you want like a really good util spot, if you come right here to the mailbox, you can smoke Moto right here. You aim at the white dot, left, right, jump throw. This will smoke Moto right here. I found the smoke by the way. Yeah, yeah. You can smoke Big Pit right here. This just blocks any of the CTs one ways, so they can't one way you. And then you could also smoke sight right here as well. Oh, that was a bad one. It's right here, I think. Oh no. It's a little bit low. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, so from the same spot you come here, you find this brick and you find this gray square. This like gray little dot. You jump there right here. This will smoke off sight. Yeah, I should probably probably throw this real quick for the video so uh they don't see all the missed smokes yeah and then from the same spot you can also smoke off site you find the gray dot jump there right here this will land front sight 
allowing you to do like that side exec where you swing pit. And then also from the same spot, you get the, the, the god flash for A. Lands up there. Let me do that with no flash. So from right here, you just go like, boom, big pit, and then sight here, god flash, and then you can like flash over pit, do a molly belt, just run it up, just like this. It's like a little one man exit combo spot for A site right there. Let me stop this recording real quick and start recording again. So I can upload this really easily to my editor. Banana retake util? You throw it B pool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near B pool? You talking about car retake? Are you talking about actual deep banana? Are you talking about like the fours? The fours take? Because I got this from NART, so I'm not going to turn this into a video, but. Yeah, if you want to do like the late take banana, you have one guy from coffins throw half all molly. You have two guys double up coffins, but throw half all molly. One comes up here, he mollies logs, and then you have a guy down here who mollies broom out. And then you flash, and then you could just swing. Oh, car retake. Okay. Yeah, car retake. There's like so many spots to throw car retake util on B site for right here. I'll just show all of them, honestly. So let me get rid of these nades real quick, bro. Uh, yeah, default needs turn the shit off. So, all the all the car util retake spots, and I'll show like different variations to do it. So, first up, the most basic variation: you got your half wall smoke, and then you jump up here, shift walk, jump throw, car molly. This is like the most basic way to retake car, and then obviously, you just flash this guy in. Here's a coffin's flash right there. You could also throw the same flash like this, same exact thing. I think this one, if you jump throw it from a uh, back coffin, they don't hear the pin pool. So that's an advantage to throwing it like that. That's like the most basic way to retake uh, car control. I've seen Big do a cheaper way to like skimp on some util. They'll molly just half wall right here and then throw a flash. And basically that molly just forces anyone behind half wall to either go in the open or run away, leaving this guy alone and he has no escape. So that's another way to retake car control. Another spot to do this from is from first oranges right here. I call this VP because I saw VP do this. This is the half wall smoke. And then you just come right here. Molly car. You also have the car you take from top first orange. If you come to this corner right here, you throw half wall smoke like this. Off. Oh, a little bit more to the left. You would throw half wall smoke right, right here. Bounces off the wall, lands half wall. And then you throw the, what's it called? Car molly like this. That Molly's out car. And then also while you're in the same position, another thing you do too, like an advantage of doing it up here, is you can HE like deep. You HE like logs area. And then also I think this is, I think right here is broom. It's like a really good HE for broom. And then uh, there's another way to do it too from new box. You come in front of the new box right here. This is the half wall smoke. And then this is the car Molly right here. All these work. This smoke is kind of whack because they can boost behind it. But I believe that's... Oh, there's one more. One more from CT and I got this one from NARP. But I'm just going to throw it in since I'm showing all the ways to take car control. Uh, you go to this brick right here. You crouch. Aim up here. And then stand up. Jump throw the smoke. I believe this is how the smoke plant. Yeah. This smoke's off half wall. And then you aim underneath the roof right here. And then you run jump throw the molly. Oh. Yeah, and then you aim underneath the roof right here, and then you run jump throw when it gets to the other roof. Now I actually land deep enough. The other one was too short. That's another way to retake car control. So you have first or uh, top first orange, uh, fountain, new box, coffins, and CT. All ways to retake car control. And I'm also throw this one in as well. The same flash you see thrown from coffins that lands right up here. You could throw a similar one CT. You just aim underneath the window, left, right, jump throw a flash. And it'll land right up there. And it pops pretty quickly so those are all the ways to rear guys car uh, i've seen g2 have like a weird variant where they'll like i think this is the smoke i don't know they'll like smoke halfway down banana and then molly half full and then retake car and then it's almost like they have banana control too it's like it's a weirder way to do it but 
I forgot the util that they throw. I forgot the smoke here. What's a good flash to throw top mid to peak Breck? Is more of a solo play flash or a flash to throw on the run? Uh, I think you could just throw like a basic left right and then peek off that. I don't know if there's like a set lineup to people use. I believe a basic left right should be good. 71% effectiveness. Yeah, if you're running up. Yeah, I'm pretty blind. You don't even see that flash coming. So I guess the way to throw it, you just line up with that up there, left, right. It lands right up there. How about T-side? To peak brackets? Self-flash? I mean, I don't know if there's any self-flashes you get through, but... Run, jump, throw, bind? You don't need a run, jump, throw, bind. You just tap W and jump throw. It's the same thing. You just use a normal jump throw, but as you you hit W, same time. That's the run throw bind. Uh, okay, let me go through these notes. Phase versus Astralis. This is overpass, I believe. Okay, yeah, this was not too old, so I actually feel pretty happy talking about this stuff. The other stuff, I was going through that old notebook, man. I was like, I just had no motivation to talk about that stuff because it just wasn't exciting anymore, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay, this was FaZe versus Astralis. Oh, I did forget to record that. Let me go back. Because I, I finished the other recording and I restarted the recording just now. Let me, yeah, let me re-record that real quick if you guys don't mind. That's a util set I throw a lot. And that shit is mad useful, bro. I can also talk about something else while I'm here. So, yeah. Yeah, util set you could throw on A site. A util set you could throw on A site to uh, pretty much cover every smoke and whatever you need, like flash you need. If you're up brackets within brackets control, you could throw moto smoke, pip smoke, sight smoke, god flash, all that good shit from this one spot here at the mailbox. So you come in the middle of the mailbox, you aim at this white dot, you left, right, jump throw. This will be a moto smoke. And then if you come here, aim above this shingle, you left click throw smoke, this will uh, smoke off big pit. There's no gaps. And then from the same position, you can also smoke off front sight. So you find this gray spot and then come to the right of it. There'll be this dot. Jump throughout that dot. This will smoke off front sight. And then from the same position, you can obviously throw God Flash right here. That just blinded the fuck out of me. You throw the God Flash right here. It lands like in the middle of the site. And you can just run it up. This will be smoked off. Flashes over pit. And boom. You basically just threw a whole site exec. Moto, front sight, and big pit smoke all from the same spot. So if you want to do like a one-man fake, you could do something like this. But... I mean, obviously, that's kind of like kind of predictable. It's, it's kind of like a, a tell. Like, it's pretty easy to tell someone's doing that when you just hear the same smoke being thrown three seconds apart, like from the same spot. So, one man fake, I don't know if you can really do that from this position, but it's a nice position to chain util if you have like an exit coming and you want to drop people util just to throw everything. Um, yeah, with that in mind, though, I kind of like came up with something for uh, a site. So, I'll talk about this actually. So what you can do T side uh, like against like passive teams, it's what I call prodding. It's basically where you just like throw in a smoke and a flash or something to try and bait out uh, CT counter util because they're playing passive and they kind of have to respect it because they have no information. So you could do this to uh, bait out util, right? Everyone knows that. But uh, a thing you can do to capitalize off this prod, which is what I would call a second step. I saw FaZe do this. Is that they prodded the CT smoke, and I forgot what team they were playing, but the the CT team didn't respond to it. They didn't like respect that CT smoke, and they didn't counter back with anything. So FaZe decided to capitalize off the smoke already being down, and they did what I I would call the second step to a, a prod. So after you throw that CT smoke, if the CTs don't respond, you can uh, you come here, throw a lurk smoke front sight, and. 
you would want to throw this while the CT smoke is like five seconds from fading. So now CT smoke's still up, front side smoke's up, and you can just walk up here. And uh, you're going to come up here, clear top first. All right, this is clear. As soon as you get here, hopefully the smoke is fading. This is how like the timing should line up. And you're going to have someone come here and smoke deep CT. Right, like this. They'll smoke deep CT. And then like you can have the some guy come here, Molly Emo. And then it just instantly turns into like a church rap, like out of nowhere. And the reason why this works so well is because CT's already smoked, so they can't stop you from walking up. And also you have front side smoke. So another way like to block vision of you walking up. And then you walk up, the smoke fades. Deep CT smoke comes in and it goes into a church rep. So yeah, it also cuts off the whole CT rotation. You get a lot of map control for post plant. So this is what I would call like a second step to a, uh, a prod CT. You go for the prod, you, you smoke CT, see if the CTs counter with their own util, try and bait us out some of the util. Uh, if they do, good, you just bait out util. If they don't, then you can still capitalize that, capitalize on that and turn it into an exec. So it's like a two step ex execute. Boom, deep smoke comes in, all that good shit. So yeah. And if I, if, I, if I were you, I would molly out emo, I think, because that is like the one position that front sight smoke does not really cover as you rap. So if you are going to do this, orders of order of importance for mollies would be emo is number one right here to molly that out. Just so they can't peek you as you uh, you run. Obviously, you can still see if he's pillar, but that's kind of like the, the risk you have to take. Hopefully, your teammates are flashing for you. DCT smoke? Yeah, so for the deep CT smoke lineup, you come here, crouch, find this line on the barrel. I found the smoke using a uh, refrag. You uh, you find the line right here, go to the second line up, stay like in the middle of it, stand up, and then jump throw. And it'll bounce off this wall right here. I think this is the fastest blooming smoke I've ever seen. Like, I've seen some other ones that are like thrown from back here. I believe it's like this. I think that's, nope, it's to the right of it, right here. This is another way to throw this smoke, I'm pretty sure. But um, the one right there, car. Yeah, that's another way to throw it. The one right here, car, is you can throw it a lot closer and it also blooms like really quickly because it bounces off the wall. So, so fucking smart. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. It's just, I'm not smart, man. I just do a lot of studying. I just put a lot of work in. So, the work pays off. So, that's what I call a second step. And, okay, with that in mind, so this is gonna be like probably like a separate separate video, but similar to how I showed that like the second step to a CT prod, it turns into like a, a church rep, front side smoke, all that stuff. You can also do a second set, a second step execute to a big pit smoke. So you can also smoke big pit on a site to try and bait out counter util from the CTs. All right, you smoke this off. Hopefully they get scared and then they molly out porch or something. If they don't respect this smoke here. This almost just turns into a lurk smoke for you to come up lane and throw like an on the fly execute. Cause now you just blocked off vision from the CTs to peek down lane. Unless they're like Grave or Balk. Those are like the only two spots they can see lane from. But obviously you can like jiggle these out. Okay, that's clear. And once you get to here, if this big pit smoke is still down, this is what I call like the second step to it, right? You uh, you come here, smoke front wagon, aim up here, you molly Balk, and then you can just run up and swing side like that. And now it just turned into like an on the fly execute. So yeah, you uh, you smoke big pit. If no response from the CTs, you can have some boys walk it up close. And then you have some guy throw that on the fly util right here. Boom, boom. And if you want, you can have someone throw like that uh, motor smoke from this position as well. And then it's like a boom on the fly execute. You just run in. It's really sick. The deep CT smoke, I was using had a one way. Oh, yeah, yeah. This car smoke only for 128 tick. Car smoke, what do you mean? The lurk one? I don't believe so. This is one way to throw that lurk smoke. I believe this is another way. Both line the same. I think Kerrigan had another smoke like this. Nope. <gasps> I think this is his. Nope. It's like right here. I think he meant the car to deep CT. Oh yeah, it might be 128 tick, I don't know. I have no idea. I only play on 128 tick, so I couldn't tell you. 
It's pretty sick smoke though, right? So yeah, that was the second step, a second step stuff I uh, I've seen. Are your previous streams on YouTube? No. Some of the CS ones or the tips and tricks ones are. I'm gonna leave those ones up. The team practice ones I'm gonna take down because I don't want to get any shredded, you know. So. Okay, yeah, let me uh, go back to overpass. Which, speaking of, I should probably restart stream when I go for the tips and tricks so I can, what's it called? Keep the stream up on YouTube. And it doesn't bleed in from the practice, you know? I got you up on TikTok? What do you mean? You watch my TikToks? I haven't posted on there in a fat minute. All right, this was Phase versus Astralis. I'm going to go through uh, some of the notes I had from there. Watch my best like college classes. Yeah, dude, Overpass is the map, dude. That's one of the that's one of my favorite maps. Bro, if I was you, I'd watch demos. You'd probably learn a lot more from demos. But yeah, obviously, watching my videos would be uh, learning some other stuff, too. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, so in this Phase versus Astralis game, let me get rid of these nades. In this, the phase versus the Astralis game, I saw a rain throw this one way. You come here, uh, con, crouch in the corner, find the arrow, go to the left of it, in that middle of the pillar, and left click throw. And you have like a, you'll have a one way to peek. Man, stop falling. It's, bro. You have a one way to peek deep con like this. Uh, the way to tell if you're going to fall is if you see the light. So once you see the light, just stop. Because you'll fall. See how you just keep on falling? So just go until you see that light, and then just stop, and you won't fall. You watch the match demos? Yeah, you can. Fuck, I don't... My fault, George Russell, I don't have those commands set up. My res is uh, 25... 1920 by 1440? Yeah, it's a 2k stretched. Um, Oh, yeah, here's another thing, too. Uh, in con as well, if you come here and you like line up with the, the bulb... This is a safe spot to crouch and just hold bottom con. I'll see teams doing this where it's like, if you have like no util left, you can just sit here in this position and just watch the walk up. And sometimes people just forget to clear this. And you can just go back and forth, just playing peek on peek on party. Go back to watching con, come back, peek on peek party. And uh, this spot's actually like pretty safe. Cause like uh, people will forget to clear this angle. And they'll just run it up pretty sloppily. You're safe from any top con mollies, bottom con mollies. And then if they do come out party, your teammates on B can easily just flash over top con for you. And you could call these and just be like, yo, flash top con, peek, and then fight, and go back down. Nice little spot to play in con. And uh, when you're crouched in this position, the people party can't see you. They won't be able to see you right there. As long as you're crouched. So, pretty nice spot to play if you're like out of util and you just want to like fight to the death pretty much. Uh, yeah, another simple trick I saw too is uh, this jump spot here, T side. You can jump spot the defuse uh, for the CTs if it's post plant. And then another thing too is you could also jump spot the the op setup you see in Bath, where like the op will play here and then someone will uh, watch the divider walk up. It's a really common setup with the op and rifle. My team calls it the Shiro setup, but you can jump spot that as well. Easy jump spots. And then if you see that they're in that setup or something, you'd have like a teammate throw this flash. I forgot who I saw throw this. But it's like, I just call it the anti-Shiro flash because it lands right in there. So if you uh, want to deal with that stuff as well, you just boom. You can even swing with it and it won't blind you. And it'll blind the guy playing here and it'll also blind the opera as well. So really sick flash right there. You just bounce off the bush right there. You peek with it and swing right after. What is my view model? I have no idea. I don't know how to tell you that either. Let me see. Well, I'm like coloring in the spot in my notebook where I like started. So like if I ever need to find out where I need to do more tips and tricks and not repeat the same thing, I'll just go back to here. Mm. 
I'm like coloring in the side of the page. So I know. So I can just flip through and find that page. You show the con to A, two smokes, one model set. Yeah. This is the bank smoke right here. And then you come right here, aim above the light pole. That's jump up. And if you aim right here, like right here around the divider, you run and then you walk, jump throw, right when you hit the steps. That's the truck molly. There's a stick one way in WC, go to second bin, throw smoke on edge of bench, and now jump on first bin. In WC? What are you talking about, WC? Stay calm and off, teammates. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Jerry. Okay, this is uh, one thing I kind of like figured out for myself as an A player. Because like I never knew like when to play con. Like when should I play con when I shouldn't. And I kind of came up with like a simple rule. Like there's like kind of like two rules for like when you should play con. So like one is if like uh, you get fountain control. Like for some reason, like the CTs don't contest it. You can low-key to stay in con because you have a, a way to escape. Two is if you get water control, you also can stay con because you also have a way to escape as well. But like if you don't, if uh, your B players get contested instantly, you probably just want to back up and leave because... Then you're gonna end up getting stuck in con and you get pinched from party, pinched from water, and there's like no escape for you. And then your team is gonna have to do like a what well we would like we have a code word for when you get stuck in con, it's like evac. They like late take water control and try and get you out. But it's kind of dangerous to do that. So like a good rule of thumb to like whether you should play con or not, you could like come here, start walking in, see if your teammates get B, see if you're good party. And if you're good on either one, then you could stay. If not, I would leave. Another rule of thumb too is if like uh if you want to go for kills, like if it's like an eco round, and you're like MP5, you can just play in here just because like you got the close quarter uh, fight, just go to the death, you know, get like one or two kills. Or another another uh, time to start playing in con two as well is if another thing you do too, like start the round, you should come here and just listen for sound cues, like if someone drops or not, one or two people drop, and uh, also listen for sound cues when you leave as well and see if the team if the T's. Are like super fundamental when they take con control like double molly flashes he's all that good shit if they are super fundamental like dumping util when you uh when you like listen then don't play in con because you're just getting flushed out and like fucked by util if they aren't and they take this shit really dry like they barely ever contest it with util then this is like a cue that you should start playing in con because you're gonna get like some free contact fights where it's just they walk into your crosshair you know so that's like another rule of thumb of like when you should start playing in con when you shouldn't with that in mind you can bait the one or the other out so if you notice that like they don't use util and con you can come in here this is like knife and then leave and because you knifed the guy down here he heard the knife or you he heard your steps and they're like fuck someone's in con and then now you end up making them use util to try and like make sure this is clear when you're not even here so you made them like dump a molly maybe even they'd be like super thorough molly bottom molly, molly top double he and now they just dump like two mollies trying to clear you out when you weren't even here so like that's another thing you could do with in con to like bait out util from the t's and just like kind of like slowly bleed them throughout the round because it's not just about kills it's more about like the util as well and their money so that's a way to also bait out util just like come in here be obvious that you're here make noise and then just fucking leave so some con tips um yeah i saw a pretty dope setup here I think I talked about this with like the boost. It's like the the long angle, but you have someone croucher here. If this guy takes a shot, you reboost and go for another shot. Nice little op setup. Um, what the hell? Oh, I don't even know if I made this into a video, but there's like a there's a, like a, a defensive smoke on a site you can throw an overpass. Let me get rid of these bots. There's a there's a defensive smoke on A site you could throw right here on the truck to uh to like defend if the A the T's decide to throw an exit. So I found several ways to throw the smoke. One, you come here, 
Just left click it like this. That's not it. You come here and you aim right there and left click. And it gives you like a one way to peek a uh, sight when they come up. You just play like up here. You can fight dice. You can also fight. Uh, you like see the guy single. That's one way to throw the smoke. Another way to throw it too is, is you just bounce off the corner of the dice. It'll land in a similar spot. And you come up here, hold the, the plant angle. It's really hard for them to see you. And then another way to throw the smoke is you just come here and you left, right, you aim at the top of the truck and you just throw it like that. And it's like the same smoke as well. So it's a nice little one way you get throw. I think this is the most consistent way to throw it though. And you come up here, hold this. And this one has the one way onto uh, the sight cross as well. Or it's like really hard. It's like pretty much impossible to see right there. So that's three ways to throw this like defensive truck smoke on A. The best way is like this way, I think, in my opinion. Um, yeah, one thing I noticed a lot too for CT side overpass, I see a lot of teams do, is what I call like islanding. So it's like... I don't know if this is like a meta thing or what, but it seems like A site, a lot of teams will just start 4B and they'll just do like some heavy B shit, maybe like a monster push, heavy water take, whatever it is. They'll start 4B and play one person A. And like every team I've watched does this like three or four rounds. The guy A who solos will just like U-tool dump, like show presence, come here, smoke party, like fucking HE mouth. And then he'll just like come long bath. They'll come long bath and then just solo and just play to the death. And like I don't know if this is meta or something because I think I think this the reason why this works so well is because this guy can hear pretty much all of A site. So if they come party, he can hear him party. If they go long, he can hear him long. And as soon as he makes contact, he's like in a pretty good spot to get like a kill or two. After he makes contact, from the position where he's at, the CTs I think can rotate faster than the T's can can get to site. So this guy's almost like an early warning signal for the teammates on B to rotate up to A site. So this guy will just come here and then his whole job is just to play to the death. Once he dies, then they rotate up to A and then they like actually respect A site, you know? Uh, but there's several spots to like do this island on uh, A site. So one is like long bath, you can util dump, go long bath. Another spot to do is like to util dump and then go long and then play behind the tree right here. And then you just watch the back bath walk out and then just switch between the two angles like this. This is another way to like island on A site. And then the last way to island as well uh, is to actually go party. Like if you throw this shit like the util dump fountain, you can come party and then just sit here. And then uh, this is really good mid round if you like regress into party from long or something. You could just stay party and let your teammates just all stay B because you have information on literally all of A site. You could you just like go between each angle. So you watch playground, come peek mouth, nothing. And then come peek the, the walkout of Khan. I wouldn't peek into Khan because people usually watch for this, but I would peek for the walkout because by the time you see him at this point, anyone in this position is not really going to be looking towards party. They're going to be looking towards Sands or Bath, clearing this out. So getting into this, this position mid-round or staying in this like from the start, hopefully they don't clear you. I mean, like it depends on the team you're playing. This usually works better if you re-aggress into getting into party, not starting here. But you could just stay here. Watch playground, pick these, and then have your teammates stay B because you have all the information on A site. This is what I call islanding. There's like three, a couple ways to do it. Here, long bath, and then also the tree spot uh, on long. Those are like the usual ways I end up islanding on A site. It's kind of like taking banana on Inferno, CT side, and then you just rotate one off and you let someone solo B on banana. Except this, uh, you don't have like a smoke to defend. It's more like you just play for information and you just fight. Yeah, one more. Go to a site, stick near map, then face towards dice and throw right click smoke on climb on dice. Oh, yeah, this is a really common defensive one way. This is bad, but we throw it right here. Then you just jump up. This is, yeah, it's a really good one way. I haven't seen any B so for a long time. Anything new or worth to know? I don't play B site. You know, hide behind the tree on long, like Inferno Graveyard, third step. Yeah, if you just sit like right here, you just go back and forth. That's where I usually sit, is right behind the tree. But yeah, as in terms of B util, I don't really... I mean, there's like this like util set right here, I think. Yeah, this is Heaven, and then I think Nart made a video on this. Hit Molly. And then there's like some flashes you throw, I think, right here. 
and they don't blind your teammates coming out. Cat right here. They land behind the pillar. They'll blind anyone playing barrel or pretty much all the spots. There's like really good supported flashes. So you're gonna like So these is like the initial pop flash. Throw this twice, then have some guy throw uh, these flashes right here. Just land right by the pillar. I guess that's some useful BU too. Uh, let me see. Smoke on. Oh, another. You aiming to have a seven map pool, or do you have? We have a perma man, uh, which is Mirage. Fuck that map. I hate Mirage, bro. It's so stale. Uh, I'm just looking for some more stuff to talk about in my notebook. Mm. Tuscan in? I have never played Tuscan. I'd be down to play a new map, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think I may have talked about this before, but there's a setup you can run uh, party that works really well against those like late take T side fountain teams that like will just walk out mid round. And uh, I call this setup like it's called a uh, off angles party because everyone just holds an off angle. So. The way you can run this setup, this is just to counter teams that contact party control or like contact out fountain late. So like, let's say you, uh, let's say you always throw like uh, the T-Con Molly and then like you jump up party and then no one's ever peeking and no one's ever running out playground. They just like sit out. So they, they sit back there and just wait out your smoke and then walk out late. A way to hold on to party control and punish them for doing this is you have one guy jump in the trash can. He crouches and watches the walk up fountain. And this is just literally like the weirdest fucking off thing. Like no one pre-aims this. No one's gonna pre-aim this thing. They're gonna be like this and be like, what the fuck? And you're, you kill them. This guy sits here and watches the, the fountain walk up. Then you have an opera sit back of party and he watches the playground run up because there's still uh, a chance the CTs can be in playground and exit through this way. So the opera will watch the playground walk out and then you, uh, you have someone watch your con. Or you can have someone nade the door and they jump spot. But this is a bit more risky because if they do smoke you off, if you need the door and the, the comp player smokes you off, then you end up losing vision on this. And then the A players kind of have to respect that and they can't really sit in this setup. So a way to hold it is to actually have someone watch con or someone jump spot, but that's the risk you take. But this, yeah, this is the setup that uh, I've run a couple times on my team and we call it off angles party. It just punishes those uh, late take teams that just walk out T-Con late. What's your thoughts on CSGO was down yesterday? Anything major happened? Uh, no, nothing. I just I tried watching a demo and I couldn't because CS was down. Um, what did she? Pass plan. Let me see what else. That is literally a strat we run. I'm not gonna talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, when you're going for a... <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. Yo, thanks for the follow, Lucky. When you're going for a... What's it called? A monster pop on B? One thing I've seen a lot of teams doing now is throwing a wood molly before the pop. And the reason for this is because, one, it'll flush out anyone playing this angle into the open to, uh, to kill them. And the other thing, too, is when this molly's down... It actually gives you a, a, a mini smoke to cross that the CTs can't see you crossing. So like when you go for this pop, obviously I like having smoke or something, but you throw this molly in beforehand. And the way to throw this molly before popping B, you come right here to the end of the cardboard, and then you're gonna aim right here, I believe. Nope. I think it's... Right there. I was a little bit wrong. So yeah. Come right here, end of the cardboard. 
You find like this white spot on the black and then you come up a little bit above it and you just jump to the molly like that. The molly out wood. And then obviously you could have someone like uh, come here, go to the crack, find this dot in the crown, aim at the eye, run jump throw. This is a heaven smoke from monster. And then you could have someone come here. This guy sets up a uh, nose flash. Let me throw a no flash on. This flash right here. This flash will actually blind anyone barrel and anyone playing close and it won't blind your teammates. You can actually chain these flashes right here. I think these are a little bit better than the this nose flash because that one will blind your teammates if they look away. But this one right here, you can literally chain these. My teammate Rob found this, this flash. And it'll blind all the same positions and barrels. So yeah, you, uh, you, you guys all set up monster. This guy Molly's wood. This guy smokes heaven. You flash, you come out. This guy will be, end up being flushed out of the position, wood. You kill him, and then you have this smoke to cross and run up the pit because they won't see you crossing. So that's uh, something that's uh, a lot of teams adding onto their monster pops. And it's not just to flush out the position. It's for the smoke. I love this that you take notes. I should do that also because in between matches, I forgot. Yeah, dude. That's the best way to learn. Yo, can you show your fast monster smoke? Line up. Mine sucks. A fast one. I go here to the dot. I aim left side of the wood in the middle of the gray and then I run jump throw when I get to the middle of the sewer okay when I pass the sewer like right there that's my monster smoke that's the one I usually throw um yeah, there's another setup you can run too, to like uh, contest those guys that walk out late. It's a little bit dangerous. I would do this as like you're like a low, on a low util buy or something. Or like a, yeah, like a mob round or something. You just want to go for kills. You would be more aggressive. Uh, but if you smoke party and like you peek this angle and no one's fighting this, like they're playing passive, you can just come out as a rifler and then you walk to the bench right here and then you just watch the walkout. And then you have like your opper sit here and just watch the playground walk out. And if they come out playground, you obviously can help swing and fight. And if they come out through T-Con, this guy here can also help swing and fight. And it's like a two-man way to hold Fountain Party. It's really dangerous, I'm not going to lie. Like, this is a pretty dangerous setup to run. Especially if, like, a team you're playing is, like, super slow and thorough when they default. But, uh, let's say you're playing against a team that's, like, I don't know. They're, like, a little bit more fast-paced. Like, they, uh, they don't take their time as much. It'll work pretty well. Or if you just want to change your pace as well. Like, say you've been playing slow the whole half and the t team is just so used to you playing slow that they like you know they let their guard down for their defaults they're trying to save you till they're not as thorough this would be a good way to pace change and uh, catch them off guard one here one here watching playground this guy watching mouth you guys are both tradable uh, let me see what else Alright, I think that's it for this uh, overpass. I'm gonna... I have a couple of video scripts I haven't gone over. Let me... Mark down where I'm at real quick. Let me put this in. Here. I had some things I wanted to talk about, like mental shit. I had a bunch of the scripts written out from like two weeks ago. I just never had the time to talk about it. So I'm just going to talk about it now because I'm feeling pretty good. All right, what is this? What is this one about? Oh, yeah. Uh, this has to do with refrag. So, oh, what's your top three central nades for overpass, Sam? If it hasn't already been asked. Uh, top three essential nades. I mean, I guess the execute nades. I don't know. Heaven smoke. Fuck, there's not there's not a top three, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All right, CT side, you got your barrels defensive smoke. That's definitely a top one. CT side, you got your T con molly. That's also an essential. And mouth nade. You do so much damage to that shit. 
CT side, that's, I'd say top three. Sure, yeah. We'll go with that. T side, top three smokes or nades in general. Um, party Molly. This is to clear out anyone if they uh, end up smoking off party and they play this position. That's definitely an essential. Um, Alert smoke. On A to get deep bath control because a lot of CT teams play really passively, so this is a way to like punish that and get more map control. And then what's another essential? Heaven smoke. You gotta have a heaven smoke, man. This one right here. The one I showed life earlier. Definitely an essential. Okay. So yeah, let me uh let me switch this up real quick. So this is gonna this is gonna sound uh it's gonna sound really fucking obvious. Yeah, these are all great. I know currently. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that definitely should help. All right, this is gonna sound pretty fucking obvious, but uh, so there was like a period where I was like going crazy on Kovacs and just always training Kovacs, and my aim was like improving. My numbers were like going up like crazy, but I would get in game and like, holy fuck, I would get in game. And I would like take fights and like, I swear my crosshair was on the dude's head and like, they just wouldn't die. And it's like, what the fuck? That was on his head. And I was always like, what the f Like that's on his head, dude. You know, like, why is he not dying? And I kind of realized like, even me, like who's got like 6,000 hours, like I practice a fuck ton, like so many hours in practicing and stuff like that. Like lots of hours in Kovacs too. I realized that like I was being bottlenecked on my aim by my counter strafing. And even at a high level, like you still need to work on your counter strafing. So what I ended up doing to like work on this was not just aim training Kovacs because you do miss out on the movement uh, mechanics of the game that you play when you do aim train Kovacs. So you should have some aim training routines to run in game. And I started doing the refrag pre-fire to like really train like the counter strafing because you have to like actually stop and shoot. Damn. I would do the, the pre-fire like this. You know, oh my god. I'll do the pre-fire. And then the other thing that they have here too, that I think is like pretty useful, was their uh crossfire. So this is like where like the, the bots will peek you. And then I would practice this and then just like just focus on just counter strafing. So like this. And then just focus on my Damn bro, I fucking suck. Damn, bro. Yeah, I just come in here and then I'll just play this shit for like a bit. And then just focus on like uh, the counter strafing aspect of my aim. Another thing you do too with this uh, crossfire thing that I also noticed helps with my aim. There's like a options you can do. And you can make it where it's not several bots peeking you. So let me stop this real quick. You can make it where uh, it's just one bot peeking you. And I think this makes it a lot more realistic if you have just one bot peeking you for aim training practice. Instead of three swingers, you have one. Because this is like... What the hell? This is a more realistic way, like, you're going to play a game. Where, like, someone peeks you, and, like, you have to react. You know, like, it's not... It's not multiple people peeking you at once. Because that's, like, that's not really that realistic. Like, most of your fights in game is going to be, like, one person swinging you, you know? Let me change the arena, because this is not a good example. For what I'm trying to say. Go to Heaven. Play Arena. The reason why I like doing it with one bot is because like like I said, this is more realistic where like one person peeks you and like you have to react. Because most of your fights in the game are not multiple people they're not multiple people peeking you. And like the difference in like like the aim mechanics of multiple people peeking you is that you shoot at someone and then you already know where you're gonna aim, and then you shoot at that guy too. And just because, like, the bot delay and how long it takes for them to shoot you back, like, it's just not realistic at all. So, like, if you want to chain, like, your raw dynamic aim, of, like, what it, what kind of aim you'll actually be using in-game, you want to do, like, more one-target uh, aim training practices. And then I would do it in this to get, like, the, the benefits of the mechanics of Counter-Strike, you know? Because you, you miss out on the mechanics, uh, mechanics benefits of doing it in Kovacs. The other thing too is like about this is that I prefer this over DM because it's like people peeking you and it's like realistic fights too, you know? And like 
obviously I am partnered with Refrag, but like I did ass use this like quite a bit for like my aim training purposes. Like that's like one thing uh I'm like I'm not gonna like just shell out and just like start speaking shit on like I stuff I don't actually use. Like I actually use this. Like I'll actually come in here and then aim train with this because I think it's like it, it gives you pretty re pretty realistic fights, you know? Playing retakes instead of DMs. Yeah, that works too. The one thing I will say about retakes though is that the repetitions you get in within like reps per minute is a lot less because you're only really getting like f max of five fights. Whereas this, like someone's peeking you like once every two, three seconds. So you're getting a lot more reps with this versus uh, retakes. And then also DMs, you might get more reps in terms of aim, but it's like really unrealistic. And you're getting people just fucking wide swinging and doing like weird ass shit, you know, like I just feel like this is like a lot better for like realistic aim training, like aiming, like aim training what you actually use in game, you know, so yeah, so this is like obviously like a sponsored video. It's going to end up being a sponsored video, but I thought I would talk about it because I actually find use of this. Yeah, that was the, that was one of the scripts. Let me look at the other ones. Exclamation refrag. No, I don't have a command for that. Always stand across fire and prefer my aim is so much. Exactly, dude. It's like because it, it trains all the aspects of your aim. Like you get the the counter strafing benefits. And then if you set up the timings correctly, you get like the benefit of like the reaction time. Damn, I thought that was a bug on me. If I aim as a comeback's not useful, I prefer KZ training and DM. I disagree with that. I think you're probably just using bad routines. I, I've been doing a lot of research in aim, bro. I've been doing a lot of research in aim, and my shit is so much crispier, and it's like all thanks to Kovacs, even though I just missed that shot right there, but like I, I've, I mean, uh, West West Proter recently made his own benchmarks, and it's like supposed to be like one of the best uh, benchmarks and like aim training routines for tech FPSs. It's like really good, bro. The code is SAMR for refrag. S-A-M-R. If you want to end up getting refrag, it'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to put it in the Twitch and shit. That's why you see refrag above my webcam because I'm going to get partnered with them probably. It's probably going to get announced tomorrow. Um, oh, shit. Here's another thing I wanted to talk about too. So for some reason, there's something I just like that ended up coming up. Um, I was thinking about it because I do, I do like a lot of introspecting. I do like a lot of introspecting, just time and silence of just thinking. I feel like this is like one of the best ways to improve at anything, like life and Counter-Strike, because you just come up with solutions and things that I've been like struggling with. And I realized something that was wrong with my IGLing is that I felt like, I felt like for some reason I had to be like mysterious in a way. Like I felt like as an IGL, like you almost had to be mysterious. Like this is like a weird mindset thing that I had going on. And I'm sure a lot of other IGLs probably think this way as well, where they think that like, they kind of have to like, have some weird, like, I don't know, like weird explanations for strats or just like out of nowhere strats in order to like, kind of stay on the team and like justify their existence on the team. That's what I, that's what I was thinking from. It, it stemmed from an insecurity of uh, me as a player. I just thought I just wasn't good enough. So I, I just felt like, I had to be like mysterious and like call weird shit, you know, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was weird. Like just to like, kind of like keep that little bit of power to myself. So I wouldn't get kicked. Like it was some weird dynamic in my head. I ended up like sitting with it and I'm on cool now. Like, you know, introspecting is wonderful. Meditation is wonderful. But that's something I realized I was doing was like uh, kind of withholding a bit and not really explaining like how I view the map. So the way I see it now though, is that like as an IGO, your teammates should almost be able to say what's going to come out of your mouth before you say it because they understand you completely. Like they should pretty much be able to IGL after you end up believing or for whatever reason. Like obviously you're going to have a bit more like experience in like mid round calls and things that are like a little bit weird and like uh, chaotic. You'll have like a bit more experience in that area. But like for a lot of like set stuff like anti egos or, you know, just usual like predictable rounds if you want to call the same thing over and over and over call the same thing over and over and over if it's working you know you don't have to be weird and mysterious like that shit is like uh it, it kind of just actually sets up your team for failure in the long run because not necessarily failure but it just doesn't really set them up to grow because they should be able to be on the same page and be on the same chemistry as you as 
what you're thinking and almost like say it before you know what i'm saying but yeah that's like that that mentality almost came from like oh if like they can't predict what i'm gonna say then they like they need me as a as, as an igl to stay and that's just like it's kind of toxic you know like i realize it now but yeah it, that came from insecurity um And yeah, the other thing too is like if uh, if this like this, this like being predictable as an IGL for your teammates at least, not to other teams obviously, but for your teammates, this should not threaten your spot on the team. If it does, your teammates are just immature and like they have some like weird fucking dynamic in their head of how IGLs should be. Like IGLs aren't always going to be like fucking mysterious and shit. Like that's just not realistic, you know. Then they're just immature if you end up getting kicked for for whatever for being really open. And they're like, oh, we could do your job better than you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But yeah, uh, the whole goal of the IGL is not to be like, setting like weird, brilliant, spontaneous strats, like mid round, early round. Like the whole thing is just to set up a system that works and everyone just can understand. So like, if that system ends up being predictable, to your teammates, good. Like, that's fine. That's less calling you have to do. But you still have other roles and stuff that like makes you a necessity in the team, not just being weird, like mysterious. If that makes sense, I don't know if this is something just in my head, but I think other people can relate. So I thought I'd just talk about it. But that's something I end up struggling with for a bit, and uh, I kind of realized what was wrong with it. Like that's something I also realized too when it comes to Counter Strike is that like the game, like there's so much more to the game than just the game. Like, this is something I wanted to talk about, which I'm probably going to make a different video. But, like, in that book, The Art of Learning, uh, Josh Weisskin talks about, like, how tier one competition of, like, any sport is really just self-expression. Like, bro, you, you, everyone can attest to this, bro. Everyone can attest to this. You get in pugs, and let's say you have, like, a friend that you're really close with, and you just know how he is. Let's say you have a friend who you, you know, like, really likes attention. In real life, like for whatever reason, he didn't get attention as a kid. You just know this guy likes attention, low key narcissistic, whatever. Like, if if you can understand that, like having mental, like weird mental dynamics in your head can affect your behavior in real life. Like, what makes you think it's different from affecting your behavior in game? Like, if you are an attention seeker in real life, you're gonna do weird shit to get attention. It's probably gonna be annoying, but whatever. Like to get that attention that you want, you're gonna do weird shit. That's also gonna transfer over in game. And that's why you get those people that just like go for these crazy puggy plays, these hero plays 24 seven. And they, they, they don't know why they, they keep doing it. They can't stop because deep down emotionally they want attention, you know? So that like my whole point is that like, in order to improve at Counter-Strike and reach like literally peak performance, you have to figure out what the fuck's wrong with you mentally. Because that shit will show in game, bro. If you're like insecure in real life, you're gonna be insecure in real in, in the game. Like you're gonna be scared to make plays that you have to step up and have confidence for. Let's say, like I said, if you're needy for attention in real life, you're gonna do plays that gets you attention in game. Let's say it's something else. If uh, let's say something. Else. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If you're like codependent, or like you know, like uh, you're constantly uh people pleasing. You're gonna end up people pleasing in game. And not like being your own person. You're going to be like that hard stuck support player who just all he knows is support. And not know how to like step up for himself and like do deal with his own shit. Here's another example. Personally with me. I realized I have a, a need for approval in real life. And this comes from my childhood. It's just for like from my mom. Like uh, nothing against her. But like it, she would sometimes not let me fail. You know like where she would kind of like correct me before I made a mistake. And what this ended up leading to was me always looking for that correction before I would make a, a decision. So I wouldn't make a mistake. And it led to like this fear of failure and a need for approval. And this led to end game where I would be hesitant to make calls unless I got that approval or I was 100% sure I was right instead of just trusting my gut and going with it. So like my whole point with this, all this, like all these examples and stuff is that like in order to really dig deep down, in order to like really improve and see what the fuck's what like what's the reasons for why you're making mistakes in game it probably goes way deeper than just the game bro like it's probably some deep mental shit that you just don't even realize like for me like the need for approval i had to sit with that and deal with it and now it doesn't affect me in game same thing with my confidence i used to be really insecure about it, like two years ago and that would affect me in game and i would just be scared to make plays but now i'm a fucking ripped g 
top G and I got confidence in real life and I got confidence in game. I got confidence on stream. You guys can see it. You know, like there's so much more to, to Counter-Strike than just Counter-Strike and, and any competition. It's peak performance is self-expression. And if your self-expression is flawed, your performance is going to be flawed. So like you really have to like, like mental games, like mental health gains leads to in-game Counter-Strike gains, bro. Like literally, bro, therapy will make you better Counter-Strike player. Like this is some shit that's been on my mind for a while. And uh, I don't think anyone talks about this because like it's so preached. It's so like pushed in the esports community. I see all the time on Twitter of people just bragging about how much they work on the game. And I, I literally saw this one tweet. It was like my order of importance in life. And it was like team practice, demo review, mental health, physical health. Like they put mental health and physical health third and fourth. It's like, dude, like that's so backwards. Like you're literally not going to improve that way. You know, like especially if your physical health is number four. Because like improvement is not just grinding and repetition. Like there's actual scientific like stuff that goes into it like neuroplasticity recovery just like how it is with working out like someone who trains seven days a week is not going to grow as fast as someone who trains five days a week who has actual like adequate rest times and recovery times like it's all about stress and recovery you know and like it's so preached and pushed in, in the esports community that you have to constantly grind if you want to make it all the best all they do is grind the best all they do is eat breathe and sleep counter strike like it's just not true at all like my whole approach to this now currently has been like i don't know if you guys are into like bodybuilding but there's like this old bodybuilder uh named mike menser and uh his whole approach to bodybuilding like there was like some interview with him and then he was like their interview was asking him the, uh, like talking about bodybuilding or whatever and he's like yeah most bodybuilders they'll train uh seven days a week three hours a day to like get a physique like mine and they're like well how often do you train and he's like about three hours a week and they're like what do you do during those three hours and he's like train hard as fuck and it's like, that's where the gold is, bro. That's where the gains are in lifting and bodybuilding and in mental shit, like competition, counter-strike, esports. Like that's where the gains are. When you have like those periods of intense focus where like you actually bring the, like the pure focus to like the pure, uh, like high quality practice. Like this is something I've been really doing with myself is just focusing on getting that high quality practice. Like I'll aim train. I used to aim train like for hours and shit wouldn't get me anywhere wouldn't get me anywhere and now when i am train like i saw some like rid by the way video rid btw video where he's talking about like stuff to like improve scientifically i'll do like the wim hof breathing i'll meditate a bit before i aim train i'll take micro rest during the aim train i'll meditate after take a nap it's like it's there's so much scientific shit that you can abuse to like just improve so much faster and bro my aim has skyrocketed i've only been doing this for like a week it's skyrocketed bro like same with like watching demos like today I, I did like a meditation before i watched the demo and it was like i'm just gonna do it for 30 minutes and just stay as focused as possible and when i'm done i'm done no long-term grinding because like it's like neurologically you really only can like the the most efficient like the max amount of time you can spend like practicing and learning something is like 90 minutes after that there's like no return to your the effort that you put in so you're better off just backing off and just going to do something going to do something else that'll give you gains in other areas so like let's say you do a 90 minute aim train session just chill and go hang out with friends go in public and do something because then you'll get gains to your confidence and social skills which also helps you be a better player because now you can socialize with your teammates and have better communication skills like you see what i'm saying like it's it's been like so preached to just fucking grind cs to get better that's just not true like it's Living a balanced life, a true balanced life is literally the best way to go about it. That's something that I just end up realizing because I was down that rabbit hole of just like fucking grinding all the time. And I hope this like reaches some people because I feel like a lot of people are spinning their wheels, not getting anywhere. And then they end up just doubling down and working even harder to try and get better at Counter-Strike. And they don't realize that that's the problem is that you don't have shit besides Counter-Strike. Like it's just a lose-lose to only grind Counter-Strike. It's a win, 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 win. Like you play better, you feel better. Life's just better when you have a balanced life, bro. What channels? Rid BTW is really good for aim training. Healthy Gamer is really good for mental shit. Um, West Proter is also really good for aim training. And then obviously, if you want to get better at Counter Strike, watch Nardo here or something. Like those are like the top channels I would say if you're trying to go pro. Because I'm trying to go pro. Sorry, I was like on a fucking rant. Let me read the chat. You get like 30 kills, 180 air scrims, and I could barely get 80 in pugs. But what's that for? Something to my child. Yeah, bro. That, that shit's real, man. You got to realize all the shit that goes deep in your childhood that like fucks you up mentally. How do you start mentally and stop tilting when you start getting frustrated? I start going quiet. I get tilted, but I don't. Bro, uh, one thing I learned 
about tilt is to, or any emotions that you get in game is to use them is to feel them instead of running from them like if you get nervous use your nerves just feel them let them feel your gameplay like let them make you let that nerves make you double check your shit and just make sure you're on your shit if you get anger like let that anger feel you and just like not let the enemy get away with what they just did. Like, you're supposed to use that shit, bro. You're supposed to use your emotions. You're not supposed to run from them and just quiet them down. Confidence is king, focus is queen, though. In chess. <laughs> I like that saying. But yeah, that's something I want to talk about. That was kind of off topic, but I think it's very beneficial to a lot of people who are trying to go pro in this game. Um, yeah, so that's thing too. Back to like what I was saying. Cause like, I, I think I'm gonna title the video like "Working Hard Will Make You Play Worse," cause it's literally so true. Uh, the Josh Whiteskin, he was saying he was talking to someone, and the guy was saying he's like, "What's the three most important turns when skiing?" And the guy was like, uh, "I don't know. When you get off the ski lift and you start going down, but it's like, uh, it's like the actual most important turns when you're skiing is the three before you get on the lift, and the reason because of that." Is if you make those sloppy on the ride up of the ski lift, when you got like a five, ten minute ride up, you're gonna internalize what you just did, that sloppy skis, that sloppy behavior. So same thing applies to Counter Strike, bro. Like you want to finish the day with gas left in your tank, and you want to finish the day with high quality practice and high quality work. You don't want to be finishing a day of practicing in Counter Strike where you're just fucking like uh like playing like shit because you're like so burnt out because you're going to internalize that bad play those bad plays that you're doing that bad behavior you want to internalize high quality behavior and i'm not saying this to avoid errors and making mistakes and just play perfect because errors do teach you what you're doing but you want to be playing with like high quality and internalize that high quality and just like that's that's the gold bro that's the gold you know what i'm saying and so yeah the same goes for cs like the the most five uh, what's the f most five mo What's the five most important minutes during practicing Counter Strike? Let's say a demo review or aim training or a scrim. The five most important minutes in all three of those are the last five because that's what you're going to internalize when you go to bed. It's like you want to finish with gas left in the tank. You want to finish with high quality work. You should never go to zero. You should never go to zero in like your, your work and like how much energy you have towards your work. You should never go to zero, bro. And that's what I started doing because of this is like once I lose focus when I'm practicing, let's say aim training, I just stop. I'm like, okay, there's not even any point of training anymore. I'll try and like, I'll try and like get that focus back. And if I just like, okay, I'm, I just, it's not, it's not coming back. Okay. Let's stop. Let's stop, man. Like, cause there's not even a point no more. It's not high quality practice. I'm not going to benefit from it. I'm better off just going to take a nap or going to chill out and let that high quality practice internalize instead of just going to zero and like, letting my aim go from like 100% efficiency down to like 60%. And then I just end up finishing the day with, I'm just like, just aiming like shit, you know? So, and that's the other thing too I wanted to mention. Like this video is going to be kind of long, but I see a lot of people and I already fucking know a lot of people are going to comment down below. It's like, oh, well, Stewie did this and so-and-so did it. Sorry to name drop Stewie, but like they'll, they'll mention all these like fucking pros and be like, oh, they did this and they went pro. And it's like, yeah, they did. Welcome to the new meta, buddy. The meta changes. We're in the scientific meta. Same goes for bodybuilding. Everyone used to say in bodybuilding, bro, you're supposed to train seven days a week, high volume, 30 sets a day, like four sets of 12. Like, no, like the research shows, same with bodybuilding, max of like 14 sets in a workout. It's all about intensity and bringing the intensity to each set and going to failure. Same goes for mental training, counter-strike training. It's all about bringing that intensity. It's not about the amount of reps and the duration of your training. It's about the intensity and then the frequency. The duration is like, it's, it's, it's not that important. You could do 10 minutes. Look at this example right here. Let's say, let's say you do 10 hours of training and you're at like 10% efficiency for the full 10 hours because you never take a break. It's just, you just mind numbingly just training 10 hours. 10 hours of training at 10% efficiency turns out to one hour of actual training. You can do one hour of training at 100% efficiency and save those other nine hours for other things. And on top of it too, that 10 hours of training is not going to lead to one hour of growth because you just internalize 10 hours of bullshit training. It actually makes you regress and atrophy in your training. You know what I'm saying? So like, what I want to like finish this off with is like, uh, just because the pros did it doesn't mean it's right, bro. Like they just, 
they just grinded thousands of hours in inefficient ways of training. And it just happened. Like they, they like, uh, they brute forced their way there. Like, yeah, they spent 15,000 hours training really fucking bad. They're going to improve at a really fucking slow rate though. While you can improve way faster using scientific methods to actually induce neuroplasticity and like actually learn. So like for all those people out there who are like trying to go pro, stop focusing your effort. Like there's so many people are so dedicated, bro. They're so dedicated to like Counter-Strike and trying to go pro. And like they use that dedication to just grind more and more and more. Instead of focusing on more, focus on intensity, focus on potency of your training like being in the moment being in the zone bro and just m use all your effort towards that so like instead of grinding for four hours aim training before you aim train meditate wim hof breathing and then do some edit like focus like focus train just look at a dot and then aim train and then you know take rest and then meditate after that's where your effort should be because you're going to see so much more improvement that way like literally so much more mentally and in game Yeah, that's it. And that's that's what that's what I'm gonna finish on. It's all about stress and recovery, man. You should never be going to zero just because the pros did it. Don't listen to them. Like, I, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I'm about to change the fucking game. I'm about to change. The, like, I'm going my own way. I see all these people doing it their way, grinding like crazy. I'm going my own way. I'm about to show y'all how this shit works. I'm gonna be a living example of all this shit too because I was never the best aimer. I was never the best player. I literally got into Counter Strike. I got into it competitively because I was the worst in like my friend group because they played better than me. I was like, fuck, now I want to be better than them. I'm going to be a living fucking example to everyone that you can make this shit. You can make this shit happen because y'all seen the streams. Y'all seen the streams from a year ago when I was dog shit aimer, dog shit player. And y'all going to see me two years from now when I'm at the major going crazy, being a superstar player because it's all about the effort you put in. It's all about the work. Fuck, the gen fuck genetics. Fuck Everyone who preaches predestination, who like, oh, that you just weren't meant for it. That, all that like mindset of like, either you have it or you don't. It's not about that. It's all about who puts the most work in, bro. Like literally, I'm about to be a living fucking example of this shit. Y'all watch and you're going to come back to this video and you're going to quote me. Sorry, I'm talking my shit right now. I'm talking my shit. Okay, let me, let me, let me reach out. Let me reach out. Yeah, West Proter, West Proter. Do you hear about golfers when they do some stupid mistake? They shake it off by taking off their hut and putting it back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. If you have like a trigger to like get back in the zone. Thanks for all the tips and advice. Yeah, for sure, man. You're an inspiration. Thanks, bro. See? You're doing a smart. Thank you, bro. That's what I'm trying to do, man. Because I'm like, I, I want to think outside the box. I don't want to be like everyone else because I see everyone else doing this and I see them going nowhere. And it's like, something's wrong with that, dude. Like, I, I'm going to look outside the box. I'm going to see how else I can improve because there's so much more to going pro than just Counter-Strike, dude. Like, it's so much, like, I spend so much time meditating, introspecting. Like, there's so, like, there, you, people don't realize, like, how much time in silence you actually need to improve at this game. Like, literal, literal time in silence to sit with yourself. How much time you need to spend, like, dealing with past mental shit, traumas, disorders, whatever you have, communication skills, emotional regulation, emotional intelligence, like, how to talk to other people, you know? Like, all that shit goes into this, bro. I swear to God. And that's, that's why I'm so focused and adamant on it is because... I don't want to just go pro. I used to think that going pro would make me happy. No, that's just bullshit, bro. Because I'm happy right now. I'm literally so happy right now because I've been working on myself. It's like I want to be happy, go pro, and still be happy. I don't want to be unhappy, go pro, and be unhappy because it's not going to bring you happiness. And the other thing, too, is that I want to I want to be like the most well-put-together person by the time I do go pro so I can enjoy that shit fully. Like I want to be able to be on stage with confidence and talk my shit, like hype the crowd. I don't want to be up there insecure with social anxiety because I used to have really bad social anxiety. I want to be up on stage, like being able to like talk to the interviewers, fucking joke around, make the crowd laugh, like being goofy as fuck. Like I want to enjoy it to the fullest. I don't want to just go pro and be some like nerd up there with social anxiety. You can't talk to one scared of like the interviewer. Like I'm just here to play counter. It's like, no, I want to live that shit up, bro. I want to live that shit up. So that's why I'm trying to like work on myself and in the process of working myself to get to that point, I'm seeing it. it's making me get there faster. You know what I'm saying? So wait, so instead of having a hundred hours in two weeks, I should focus on practicing more efficiently. hundred percent. You don't need a hundred hours in two weeks on oh, God. You don't, you should put all your intensity into bettering yourself as a person mentally and into the efficiency of your practice. Like literally dude, I, my practice is so much shorter now. I, I just focus on the intensity and being in the zone for like 30 minutes to 90 minutes. No, don't go past that. You should. I think it's like suggested that you have like 90 minute blocks to work on things. 
once you're done with that, be done. And you want like usually a couple hours between your 90 minute practice sessions. What was the name of the aim training set you mentioned on Kovacs? You can do, I don't think you're doing aim labs. It's Wes Proter. He made a look at his most recent video. No joke. I'm also working on that shit. I'm about to drop the school for that. Literally the same shit. Really? What for uh mental stuff like psychology? I already see the progress in you. I remember watching one of your old videos. Yo, thanks, bro. That's what I want it to be. Like, I want to see people see me from the down bad to like the up now. So you, I could be a living example that you can make it too, bro. Just DM for an hour, take a break for like 30 and then DM again. I think there's a bit more effective way to train your aim with that West Proter video. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine if you're in focus the whole time. But yeah, that's the thing too. Like when I aim train, I don't listen to music anymore. I like, I want to be so focused. Uh, my whole thing is just maximum focus. Having IRL confidence and getting your shit together helps CS. I swear to God, and no one believes this shit, bro. Oh, no going pro CS with efficiency, not proof. Yeah, exactly. Do you think pros who only DM would be better if they did what you suggest? Um, No, because it depends. Like, if they're focused in their DM and that's, like, the way they focus the best, then, yeah, you could still train that way. Personally, I just... I like to focus on my bottlenecks and, like, train specific scenarios. I mean, I think they would, probably. I mean, if they, like, really focus on, like, specific things that they struggle with, and then, like, yeah, probably. I would say so. I think a lot of pros are, like, d like, it's kind of, like, weird for me to say this because I'm not pro, but I think a lot of those people do it wrong. And I'm just, like, talking from, like, a place of ignorance because I don't really know what a lot of pros do. But just from, like, what I hear from people say of just, like, just 10 hours of DMing a day, 10 hours of aimbots, 10,000 aimbots, like, I just think that's wrong. And I think, like, a lot of those people just don't really put time into learning other things about how to like get better in counter-strike or as a person because like when you think about it like people who want to go pro in counter-strike are people who play counter-strike a lot people who play counter-strike a lot usually have a lot of problems and aren't like really the most confident and like secure person in themselves like they usually aren't the best off mentally so like you're a lot of these pros you're, you're picking up a lot of these pros from a pool of people who are just like hurt and broken you know so you're gonna see a lot of these broken pros make it but they're just like really not good examples. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there are exceptions, not the rule. All right, I'm gonna head out, take a good long sleep. Thanks for all this tips and advice, Samar. I actually appreciate it, bro. I think, uh, I think I'm also finishing here. I got a couple of scripts left, but I'm gonna save those for later. It's already one o'clock. I didn't even expect to stream this late. Normally, I'm like tired as fuck. I'm gonna try and start streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm normally like tired as fuck after practice. And, like, I just don't even feel like talking. But, like, this shit low-key, like, it low-key gives me energy, bro. Like, it makes me feel better, like, when I talk about this stuff. Because it's like I have someone to talk, like, express my thoughts to. And it helps it seal and stone for me. And then also you guys get to learn from, like, what I'm learning, you know. So I'm going to really try and do this Tuesdays and Thursdays and start pumping out content a lot more. Streams and content stuff. Connect with the, the community, you know what I'm saying? So... I think there's a certain set of players who perform better when they don't overthink their process. Some people have a certain psyche that this wouldn't work for. Is that, how do you know that about them, though? Like, I feel like that... I feel like a lot of people make a lot of judgments on, like, those players. Like, specific pros when they really don't know them. That's why I said, like, when I was speaking on pros, I'm kind of speaking from a place of ignorance because I really don't know that many. I'm just going off, like, what I hear. But, yeah, I think it's kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know at all. It's 106. I'm probably going to end up heading out here. Let me, I think I did mark it down. Yeah, I did. So yeah, I'll probably see y'all Thursday. I'm going to start streaming, streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to make this all into a video. I've been out of content for a fat fucking minute. Stuff to edit. I've just been burnt the fuck out. So yeah, boys. I am out of here. Let me end the stream. I will see y'all tomorrow for team practice and Thursday for like.